Hi guys, welcome back. This is Matt Chat, episode 493, featuring a long overdue look at one of my favorite uh, computer role-playing games of all time, really, uh, Icewind Dale 2. Now, as you probably know, I'm a big fan of the Infinity Engine games. I love Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I love the first Icewind Dale, of course, Planescape. I mean, the list, <laughs> pretty much all of them uh, are great games. Uh, but I think this one is probably the best in terms of the, the, the focus on the combat, the tactics, the leveling mechanics. I mean, you can really, really get heavily <laughs> invested and immersed in the sort of uh, the, uh, the stats and the feats and trying to build the most epic party. Uh, there's just quite a bit of uh, bells and whistles to get in there and, and, and tinker around with, uh, especially compared to the first Icewind Dale. Uh, plus, you know, unlike the Baldur's Gate series, you get this whole party that you create and can you know, customize exactly how you like, and lots and lots of options and choices. <laughs> and so if you like those party-based games with lots of leveling mechanics and, and, and ways to make your characters unique, oh my god, you're going to love this game. Uh, anyway, we got a lot to cover here, so without further ado, here is Icewind Dale 2. Now, what have we here? Icewind Dale 2. Complete. <laughs> One of the best, folks. You know, the people that put this game down, uh, you know, I, I don't like those people. <laughs> I mean, give me a give me a break. I mean, this is one of the best CRPGs you're ever going to play. It's got problems. It's not perfect. Uh, some people like some of the other rule sets and yada yada. The graphics, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just forget those people. Uh, trust me. This is nine ninety nine here on GOG. Money well spent. Uh, if you're anything like me, and who wouldn't want to be, uh, you're really going to have a good time with this. And I assume probably some of you have played it. Maybe you're like me. It's been a few years. And, you know, it's it came out in 2002. Can you believe that? Well, oh, October 16th. You know, so we're kind of coming up on an anniversary. Is that 20 years? <laughs> <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> yeah, coming up on, I guess, the 20th uh, year anniversary. That's amazing. You know, these games, uh, this, it, this still seems like a new game. When I hear Icewind Dale 2, I think, oh, it's f fairly recent. <laughs> it's a, certainly a modern game, but wow, time flies. But, but hey, if, if you've never played it, I think you'll like this. Uh, if you played it and it's been a few years, maybe it's been, maybe you only played it when it came out. Or maybe a couple times, you know, you're, you're going to have forgotten enough about it to, to, to still have a good time. And there's so much replay value with this. So many different kinds of characters and classes and feeds. I mean, uh, it's really, you know, as much as I like the first Icewind Dale, uh, I think this one even gives you more toys to play with. I mean, it's like sitting down in a, one of those jumbo jets and you got the huge cockpit with all the buttons and switches and flip, you know, things to mess with. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, now, uh, what I want to do in this video is a little bit different. I guess we could talk a little bit about the history here. Let's see, Black Isle Studios. Can we get a, I'm not sure if the GOG page talks about who worked on the game. Give me one second here. <laughs> accidentally typed in Icewind Ale uh, into good old ga uh, into movie games and I'm like man is that a thing is there a ice wind ale i would totally want to try that if that's not a thing that should be a thing so you brewmasters get on that immediately uh okay i'll check okay i'm um, really <laughs> having some fun here <laughs> uh but apparently it is a thing okay so well, this is, it's just called Icewind Dale. I think it should have, they should have called it Icewind Ale. Uh, but who is this, Newgrass Brewing Company? Looks like it's got decent comments untapped. I've never seen this. Have you guys seen this? Oh, that's not even the same thing. Uh, anyway, let's get back on track. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be one of those times, uh, types of videos, folks. 
Uh, okay, yeah, Icewind Dale. Uh, this well, this is August. You know, they can't even get. You know, this is the problem I, I ran into trying to write books about this stuff. I mean, like, who are you going to trust? Moby Games says it came out in August. Uh, Gog says it comes out in October. I don't know what the manual says. I guess we could look at that, but even that might not be accurate. So it's always hard to get, you know, an exact time when, it, when a game comes out. Do you think that would be common knowledge? I bet Wikipedia. Let's just check Wikipedia real quick and see what it says. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll Dell 2. Oh, that says August, so. Okay, maybe we'll go with August. Which that would mean... Yeah, okay. Let's see. Where is the people who worked on the game? Credits. Oh, there's Fergus Urquhart. He was the president. I've interviewed him before. Great guy. Produced by Darren Monahan. I haven't had him on the show. It might be fun. And there's an associate. Webmaster. Jessica Urquhart. I think that's... <laughs> I think she's any relation to Fergus you know, I love these, uh, even, you know, 2002, I guess they were still doing this. It's kind of a family affair, a lot of these studios. You might have your uh, your partner, your spouse, your friends might be part of the game studio. You know, Richard Garriott, his story is great. You know, he had like his mom and his dad and his brothers and everybody was chipping in. Oh, let's see. Anybody else that we have had on the show here? Bernie Weir. Lead programmer. You know, all these folks, I, I wish I'd get more. Oh, there's Josh Sawyer, of course. <laughs> A really great guy. Oh, man. Uh, I kind of pissed him off the other day. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> uh, it's being a little tongue-in-cheek. I don't think he picked up on it. Or maybe he did. It was being tongue-in-cheek back. You can't tell me. Guys like that, the, they're so clever. Let's see who else we got. Chris Avalon's on this. <laughs> I wonder how he's doing these days. Uh, what else we got there? I don't recognize any of these folks. Here's Chris again to the manual. You know, I think you should always, uh, you know, if you're any kind of designer, you should also work on the manual, I think, because you're the best person, best possible person to write the manual. You, know, you actually design the game. Eric Fong, you know, maybe get some help if you don't have the writing chops, but Chris definitely has both. Okay, I think, yeah, the music, I-9-0, does that sound right? You know, a lot of people love the soundtrack for this game. That name, I thought it was some, for some reason another name was coming to mind, but man, maybe this is right. i 9 Oh, they did a lot of great stuff. Yeah, I should get more of these uh, musicians on the show, too. I've had very few, few here and there, but I could certainly use some more. Uh, so anyway, Epic Crew working on this thing. And it's probably one of their big claims to fame. Is there anything else we want to say about it? You pick it up here on GOG, 10 bucks, And I think it even comes with the, uh, yeah, it comes with the the soundtrack. I mean, that's, <laughs> the soundtrack alone is worth 10 bucks, folks. Then you get all the PDFs, I guess, of these out. What the artworks? Avatars, HD wallpaper. It's just epic stuff. Uh, okay, I want to say one other thing before we jump in. Now, usually with a game uh, like this, I say just go in and, you know, make your own party. Don't look at facts or don't look at guides. You know, just, just have some fun. See how far you can get. If you get stuck or, you know, it's the game is just too frustrating, you can, you know, go back and look at some things. But I always, you know, especially with a game like this, it's not so hard that you really need to min-max everything and have, like, the optimal party just to get through the game. Uh, usually, worst-case scenario is you could be doing a lot more reloading and struggling a lot more in battle, but uh, that's just kind of part of it. Uh, but just to do something different, something unusual for a match hat, I thought I would actually try to power game. <laughs> power party. <laughs> uh, so I used this guy's guide, Ken J. Egaveri. And he it's a really entertaining guide. Good writer. Uh, you know, I, I like this because he, he goes into great detail about each of the choices. He doesn't just say, here, put this, you know, put, make this party and, he, and here's the, the stats and stuff. Uh, instead, he, like, gives you these really in argument. Now, this is not going to appeal to anybody, but, like, a hardcore 
nerd. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I happen to be one. You might, you know, you probably are as well, so you'll dig this too. Uh, but you just don't even look at this thing if uh, this is your first game to play. Uh, just go and have some fun. Make whatever you like. Uh, be quirky. Be creative. But I thought it would be fun to actually follow one of these guides. And I really like this 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 one. Uh, so we've got a party here. I've already created it. I had some folks from Discord give me the names uh, for the characters. But we're going to pretty much stick to this. You know, I'm, I'm not going to just be fanatical you know, slavish about about this, but uh, I went ahead and made these character suggestions that he talks about in here. Uh, and this one is, it's kind of ludicrous in a way, as we'll see some of the stat choices. You know, you're if you were playing this in a tabletop game, the, the dungeon master would probably say, no way. <laughs> you're totally just uh, exploiting the mechanics. We don't, I don't want to play that kind of, uh, kind of game, but, you know, it's a computer, so the computer don't care. <laughs> You know, things like intelligence scores and charisma scores down to like zero or three, like as low as you can go to try to get the best possible stats. A lot of uh, emphasis here on uh, magic, a couple sorcerers, the rogue. You only get one level of rogue. <laughs> and then it's on to conjurers. So a lot of multi-class, and you're really playing uh, up to the uh, special features of this rule set. You know, again, not everybody, I get it, not, not everybody's cup of tea, I get that. But I just thought for once, you know, why not? You know, dive in and see if we can just really get these, uh, <laughs> uh, get this party into super shape. All right, so I'm not going to go all into this. We'll go ahead and get into the game, and uh, we can talk a little bit more about it when I show you the characters. But anyway, if you want this guide, is on, it's called the Ultimate Power Gaming Party Fact. By Edgar Vary. And as I say, good writer. It's a good guide. It's, it's entertaining just in and of itself, so you can check that out. Now, I'm not using any uh, mods. There's not that many available compared to some of the other games we've, we've done recently. There's a few that people recommend, but it's mostly in the vein of, you know, if you've played through the campaign a couple times, you're bored, you're looking for something different. Uh, it's that kind of mod more than, uh, you know, here you you got to have this because it really is going to make uh, the game a lot better or fix a lot of bugs. You know, there's not much of that kind of stuff, which are usually the mods I would use. You know, there's, I, I think there, might, I saw a mod or two that might tweak the graphics a little bit, that sort of thing. But I mean, the, the, uh, I think uh, just the default game as you get it from GOG is going to be fine. Uh, you don't need to seek out all these mods. It's not going to make that big of a difference. Just in my opinion, as somebody who, who admittedly hasn't bothered to install the damn mods, I'm probably just yeah. There's probably a mod that would just make it seem like a, you bought this game yesterday. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get in to Icewind Dale two. Okay, let's get her going. Yes. Where are you? There you are. Oh! Excellent, hit the button. <laughs> Official license product. Yes, enjoy spectacular 3D graphics. Nice one, Dale. Too. Look at those leaf particles. That's beautiful. I must, for myself. Examine the reasons I left the comfort of Kaldahar. Imagine having to mow the roof. Dale, the place of Isalor's birth. It is much like the assignments given to me by Uncle Oswald and Isalor himself. And I wonder if anybody's ever made a printed copy when of this Isalor book. That'd be a great uh, add-on for an enhanced edition. Hint, hint. The world, <laughs> he told his fellow druids he would send a student to replace him. This, I told myself, was why I left. But now, as I sit by the warmth of a fire in Mirabar, I realize what Isalor must have already known. I remember the details vividly. It started many years ago. The year was 1310 Dale Reckoning, when scouts from Burn Shander, the largest of the Ten Towns, first reported sighting goblin warbands. Within weeks, 
A river of goblins had flowed forth from the spine of the river world, of and above that wave of death sailed a banner bearing the monstrous heads of the Chimera. The militiamen of the Ten Towns would have been the Dale's only defense had the forces of fate been against Bern Shander. But Albrecht Dinsmore, the mayor of the town of Targos, urged the council to send a messenger south to the port cities of Lasken and Neverwinter. Lasken had problems of her own, but fearful of repercussions, the captains of Lasken devised a simple plan. Throughout the city, they posted notices promising wealth and fame. With lean work in the northern port city, many mercenaries and thugs were lured to the ships that would take them thugs. even further north. And so their ships crept through the sea of moving ice and onto the Shangarn River. They bragged of the deeds they would perform and the castles they would purchase. Lost in their reverie, they were blind to the throngs of goblins and orcs that lay in wait. Too much ice, Only Wendale. A few ships survived the assault. Those that continued up the river watched as the town of Bremen burned. One of the ten towns had already fallen. Many wondered, as I often wonder, what difference only a few can make against so many, and in the midst of <coughs> such terrible circumstances. Nice. I mean, that's... What more do you need than that? Beautiful music, beautiful artwork, great narration, didn't go on forever. You know, just set up a game a little bit and then... Well, that's, that's all you need. I, I think they did a great job of that. That set up there. You know, I was thinking, of, have you ever read those uh, uh, R.A. Salvatore books about Icewind Dale? There's a bunch of them. It's, he's got a character named Drizzt Norden, who's a, a drow. Uh, just spectacular books. And I highly recommend those. Some of the better uh, officially licensed books you can buy. You know, read the Dragonlance Chronicles and the Legends, and then if you like that, you'll like the. Uh, Icewind Dale series. But let's go ahead and I don't need to begin the game. I've already got a party here. Well, let's see if I can just load her up. Yeah, there we go. Now the only problem with this, I think I might skip a little bit. Okay, so I think I've found the only option is <laughs> going to be uh, to play it full screen, which means I won't be able to see my recording software as we go, which is kind of annoying, but oh, oh well. As long as it records. So let's go ahead and get it going again. You know, just have to have faith that it's recording. <laughs> oh boy. For some reason when you put it into windowed mode, it doesn't... The interface looks great, but the guys are really, really tiny. I can't seem to figure out how to fix that, but it's okay. All right, so these are my party members. Let's take a quick look here and see what we've got. One of these is, yeah, this looks good. So we got a Rottener Stern Hand, Shield Dwarf. As you can see, they want me to bump the charisma down to negative, or to one, which gives you negative five on the rolls. So you don't want this guy having anything to do with the uh, conversations. Intelligence is also quite low, but apparently, you know, the game is such it doesn't really make that big of a difference to have a really dumb character. Well, the important thing is this other stuff here. Uh, and this will be more or less be the tank. we got basically two tanks in this party. Uh, the straight-up uh, fighter, he'll uh, switch back and forth between fighter and barbarian. And then we've got our shield dwarf here as a fighter. And uh, let's see, I think he'll be, sh I don't know if he'll be multi-classing. I think he might just stick to this Battle Guard of Tempest. Uh, and then we have uh, also a Shield Dwarf too. Yeah, Shield Dwarf. And uh, then we have a Morning Lord of Lathander. He's Matt the Rat Slayer. He will be clericking. Uh, then we have a Drow named Valorantil Ressi, a also a cleric. 
Now this is our rogue, uh, so what we'll do is just do one level of rogue and then we'll switch to uh, Conjurer, actually, uh, for the rest of that character. And then we have two sorcerers or sorceresses in Zipati. This uh, guide guy uh, likes the sorcerers a lot better than the wizards. You know, I kind of like... Wizard, to me, is more traditional. I typically like them, but yeah, I mean, he's got some some good points. This, from Just from a gameplay point of view, it's probably better to go with the sorcerer uh, for various reasons. We, we can get into it later in the video, but you see charisma is very important for them, so we pump that up. Also good decks and con, constitution. All of the characters have good constitution scores, which is pretty smart, I think. And I think somewhere here it lists like feats. Yeah, skills and feats, so they wanted me to go bull-headed for this guy. This, I guess Radazar here, here will be our spokesperson. So we got a bunch of social skills for them. And a decent intelligence score, so we can get the uh, uh, all those skills. You can see our other sorceress... Our other sorcerer <laughs> doesn't have a high int, so they don't get as many skills, but you know you can get more scores in these other areas that way. Uh, let's see, was there anything else really remarkable? I think it's all pretty standard. You know, the stuff you would expect. They they really make a big point about concentration and being an important skill for all pretty much all the characters. Uh, because without that, you'll get uh, interrupted all the time when you're trying to cast in combat. And most of the time when you're casting a spell, you will be in combat. Uh, probably in melee range even, given the, the nature of the game that we're playing. Icewind Dale 2. <laughs> Yeah, then we're going to have this guy with a big old sword, which that'll be fun. Especially once we get into some barbarian class, uh, levels. Okay, let's get back to the game. If I can get back to the game, please. I think it's... Yes. I'm trying to remember how this, this process works. I think they're already... Yeah, so he comes in with his spells already memorized. Uh, I think all we really want is Bless. But... I guess it doesn't really hurt to have Cure Light Wounds. Just checking the rest of my characters here. Everybody's looking good. Let's check the inventory. Everybody, just like in the first game, we all start with sticks. That's a quarter staff, young man. Okay, let's see. Go back to this time. Oh, not you! <laughs> now let's have Razar do the talking. Hey, look who's come back aboard. Sick of Targos already, are you? Ah. Can you tell me anything about Targos? Can we put us up for the night, Hedrin? How come you haven't left you? Now my mouse is a little bit wonky here, but I'll try to make do. Well, the ones the goblins didn't tear down, the people at Targos did. They're building a wall around the town, and they need all the lumber they can get. Damn wall won't keep the wind out, much less goblins by my tail. Right. Wouldn't hurt to know where an inn can be found. I spend most of my time on the floor of the Salty Dog when I stay the night in Targos, which isn't often. Salty Dog! With all the mercenary bands holed up in Targos, there may not be a place in town for you to rest. If the local inn can't put you up, just come back to the ship and I can spare a buck or two for you to sleep on. Oh, that's nice. Or if you want, you could probably slip into one of the abandoned warehouses to catch some shot eye. God knows I have after a long <laughs> night at the Salty Dog. God knows I slipped into an old warehouse. Salty Dog. Uh, you know where I can go to sign on with a Targus guard? That's probably a quest chain. Well, you'd want to be saying the lord of this place. Albrecht's his name. Good enough fella for a lord. Scare the cliffs to the main town. He's bound to be in one of the manors up there. Snag one of the locals. They can guide you better than I could. Alright. So we can join the local guard. Well, we got another dude here. Who's this? Edgul. Come back there, Edgul. Can't stop to bandy words, would ye? Hedron be finding more work for me after I finish this bit. You could step off this creaky wreck and join me in Targos. There's bound to be better jobs and better pay. Okay. No, my place is here. Don't let me be weighing you down. Okay. 
Character's not important, you can tell, because they don't even have a voice actor. <laughs> But this is, you know, this is about the right amount of text for me. I don't want to read or sit through long dialogues, you know, especially at the beginning. I just kind of want to get, get into combat. I'd rather be Fortune's Wind. What's this? Was good having you with us, even for only a short time. Hope Fortune's Wind fills your sails, friend. Okay. <laughs> One of my options in dialogue is to say, well, I'd rather it be Fortune's Wind than your wind, Screed. I had quite enough of that on board the ship. A little flatulence, I suppose. Ah, it's that damn knucklehead trap. Doesn't pass easily. Okay, that's a little TMI, I think. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, and then to get the party together, click that button. How do I... Oh, no, not that button. You tell it's been a while. How do I move the screen around? Nope. Nope. I'll do it now. Nope. <laughs> okay. How do I? Oh my god. Okay, we just have to go to the corners. I thought surely there's a easier way than that. Maybe not. Oh, this is where you would just kill for an enhanced addition. <laughs> do it. Do it now. You know, you get used to it. I'm sure, relatively quickly, but still. Ooh, I wish arrow key's not much better. No, it's not smoothly moving. Okay, there's some guys. Reg Redwaters. Oh, who goes there? Step forward and identify yourself. I'm Angar the Whitebeard. What happened here? What happened? Goblin Raiders in town is what happened. Now get back to your ship. We've tracked down most of the little bastards. That's just goblins. Come on. See, there's still a band northeast of the docks, and there may be others about, so we probably want to head there. Perhaps we can stump these raiders. You, look, just get back to your ship. We don't need any more blood spill. But Rig, we need help. Rowan's dead, you're hurt, and you haven't even heard from the other soldiers. Damn it, all right, we need all the swords we can get. But by the hells, drop those pieces of firewood and grab some real weapons before you commit yourselves. There's plenty of goblin axes and shields scattered about. And here's a blade I can spare. Take it. I can't use it the way my arm is. Oh, before I took that arrow to the knee. What's wrong with your arm? Goblin axe took a bite out of it. I'm better off than Baron here. Poor bastard took a goblin arrow in the neck. Well, John here wrapped up my arm, but you're right, it's bleeding bad. If you could find the harbor master, Magdar, he might have a supply of healing drafts stored in the warehouse north of you. Wounds are the price of battle. <laughs> Wounds are the price of battle. And an inspiration to others. Little battle god, call upon Tempest magic to seal your world. Oh, maybe that's a special option because I'm a battle guard. Let's try it. You're a healer? Looks like Tamora's taking pity on us at last. If you have any magic that would help, I'd be grateful. Okay, well, I probably got that ready. cure main spell. Yeah, let's make sure I'm on the right guy. So who is it with the problem? Okay. Let's see if I can cure light wounds on him. I don't remember this before. This must be special uh, content just for this type of cleric. My arm's better, thanks for your help. Looks like you're praying to the right gods. The wound's closed, but there may be more damage. You still don't look too good. <laughs> Gee, thanks. I got experience points already! Hey! I don't need to rest already. Let's see, you can still use that healing draft for Magdar if you can find him. And we built, we made that quest, and by God, we're gonna keep it in. <laughs> okay. okay, let me see. But quick saving. What is the quick save? Yep, was Q. Okay, that makes sense. Select all. <laughs> equal sign. I'll do it now. Alright. Well, let's see if we can get some weapons. He said there's some 
weapons around here somewhere. There's a little house. There's some. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's a spear. And some more stuff down here. A little guy. Let's see. Jordan Tame Water. It's good to see another dwarf. Oh yeah, so there's a lot of special content here for a dwarf. That's cool. It's good to see another dwarf on Shrove Mad Dual Dump. Especially with these damnable goblins about. Seems no matter what quarters of the world you go, they're always there. So true. Who are ye? Do you come to add your axe and hammer to toggles? You're adventurous from Alaska. <laughs> We just came in on the Wicked Witch and found Targos being attacked. Isn't Targos the name of that character from that awful movie that they, uh, it's like a Rift Tracks MST 3K classic. You know, guy with the big thighs. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Looks like you got here just in time then. Targos is short of good blades. Careful now. There's more of these rock crawlers about. So be on your guard. You see, D and D's been apologizing for language like rock crawlers. Did you kill all these goblins yourself? No, I actually still have some rock and fire in me yet. When I caught them trying to set fire to my ship, when I caught them trying to set fire to my ship, my eyes filled with blood. I spent too long carving her hull to let it be touched by goblin filth. And you are! So you're a shipbuilder. Yes, 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 yes. Out of every character, you have an option about where can you rest. How do they get into town? No telling. But I didn't hear a warning horn. The goblins are carrying pickaxes. Tells me they were sappers. The ankle biters may have broken through into some of the old caves between beneath Targos and use them to get to the docks. Oh, caves. These cliffs are thick with tunnels, but last word was the Targos guard had collapsed most of them. The tunnels were used by smugglers along the Dual Dawn years ago. The goblins may have broken into one of them and crawled beneath the palisade. Somewhere to the northeast. Seems like they want us to go to the northeast. Okay. So it sounds like we need to find Magdar, get the guy the potion, get a little XP. Let's get some of these items. There's a shield. Looks like we've got a... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> now looks like we got some gablies. Alright, well let's just see what these guys can do. Shouldn't be too tough here at the beginning. Ah, not a scratch. There's another shield. I don't actually know if any of my guys are using shields. So what button? There we go. It's alt to see all the stuff. Got some axe there. Ooh, looks good. <laughs> Empty. Empty. Ooh, what's this? Whoa, hammer. And another empty. Alright, let's go ahead and put on some of this stuff. Alright, this guy, I believe. Uh, let me see, where's this sheet? He's got feats. He needs a great sword. That's what he's set up to do. But maybe we'll just have to go with the sword for now. I think, yeah, this guy's good for axes. This guy's a mace wielder, so I think otherwise, though, we'll probably just go with whatever we can find. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is an axe. Hand axe. I'll give that to him, and I guess for now we'll just stick with the sword for you. Maybe a hammer instead. 
use this sword for... Uh, who else could use this sword? I always get a little bit confused with all the different... Uh, i got a spear here, too. Okay, he's definitely going to use the, uh, the axe. Well, he picked up a short sword somewhere. We can give that to the rogue, maybe. Okay, yeah, the cleric apparently can, is okay using a sword. Sometimes they won't let clerics use edged weapons, but I guess it's a different rule set. I'm keeping these uh, sticks because my understanding is there's quite a few monsters that are resistant to the damage that you can do with a regular thing, so I'll go ahead. I don't think anybody else could use the spear. So maybe go like that. These guys are probably okay with their... Uh, Eh, what the heck? Have a shield! I don't want to use a shield for long, but... I guess there's... Is there... I wonder if this game... Sometimes they penalize you for using a shield, sometimes they don't. I know eventually I want to have a two-handed weapon on him. Okay, go ahead and save it again! Ooh, what do we have? Yeah, yeah. How much... Ooh, let's see some armor! Kinds of good stuff. Yes, this is nice. You can always sell this stuff if you don't need it. Hopefully buy some better stuff. Yes, we're gonna have to make sure we've got enough ammo. Alright, stick leather armor on our tank there. Good. I don't think the helmet does the helmet do anything? Yeah, see, sometimes the helmets... I don't, you know, I like it. Like, what games... Some, I know some of these games will... It's like you don't take critical hits or something if you have a helmet on. No, but this is just entirely for decoration. Uh, let's see. I guess I can give this to the rogue. Probably don't want her in combat. We're going to need to pick up some crossbows for these uh, sorcerers. They don't have the cantrips. You know, that was a nice innovation of the later games, I think, of the later version, that lets you have those... Uh, you know, you can always throw like an acid splash or something, you don't have to bother with putting a ranged weapon on a wizard. Or a sorcerer. Do you stand with Targos or against her? You stand with Targos. Keep your blades close. So somebody inside the town let the goblins in or conspired with the goblins. You know where I can find a man named Magdar? Magdar is a harbor master. If he's still alive, he'd most likely be on one of the warehouses on the northern end of the decks. Okay, apparently we need to return here for some reason. Love this artwork. It was a red door. Why is that door red? It was red a minute ago, man. I don't know. It was red. Look. It probably means there's a trap. What? How do I use my thieving skills? Let's see. That... No? How do you... What the heck? That door... Doesn't red indicate I'm traps? Oh, look at all these goblies! Oh, what's this? What are those things? Cats? I guess it's a cat. Okay. Well, let's just see what they can do. I don't want to waste my spells yet. They're going to automatic. Oh, they don't automatically attack? What was this little button? Character or something? No. Do I have to turn on AI? Not hard. It looks like we got him. Ooh, there's another small shield. Meow. Guess these cats have already killed the rats. What's that? 
small shield versus a small shield. I don't think the sorcerers are smart enough to use a shield. <laughs> we don't know how to use a shield. We're too good for that. I will assist you in any way. Oh, I can there was. Maybe we get a little reward for killing these. What you doing in my home? I just killed the goblins for you. Oh, is that so? Well, then I'm certain as the dale is cold, it'll please you to leave me home. <laughs> out, out, before I can your hide from here to Bremen, you filthy robbers. <laughs> yeah, is this the thanks you offer? We just saved your life. Eh, who, how dare ye? <laughs> your lack of gratitude shames your family's name and cuts me deeper than any goblin's blade. <laughs> I do not ask you to. Did your mother teach you nothing of manners so much that you spit upon an offered hand of help? Ooh. I won't hear such words spoken in my own home. Get, get. There's nothing more to be said. Farewell. Well, of all the gratitude. Might as well rob her while we're here. Get out of my way, cat. Ah, the cat's in the way. Get out of the way, cat. Crazy cat lady. Yes, it will be done. Literally a crazy cat lady, I guess. Ah. Oh my god. Something. The bugs in this game. I'm going to write a scathing review. Post it right to GameSpy. And I could not even get inside that stupid cat. I got to kill the cat to get in this barrel? Oh, finally. There's nothing in it! Ah! Stupid. Stupid. Speak. Up to one point of hit damage. Ooh, there's another something. What? What's the... Huh? Get your butt over there. Why won't they get over there? Oh, maybe I have to go around. Oh, the trees. Fog of war. You know, it's little things that... Ooh, battle axe. You know, like in the later games, it's just... Whoever's closest... We'll pick the item up instead of having to have the party leader come over there and do the honors. But I guess 2002 is still pretty early days. If I recall correctly, the, this game came out right around the time of Neverwinter Nights. So you had this 3D game you could play or this. That might be one of the reasons why this didn't get the attention it deserved. Alright, that does 1D8. That also does 1D8. Might be better than that. Yeah, 1d6 for the hand axe. A little bit of an upgrade there. Could be an off-handed weapon. I don't know if we want to... Always torn between. Do you want to do more damage or to have a little better AC? There's probably all kinds of rules about two-handed weapons. I don't know. Let's see. I guess we could do a little comparison. On the right page here, it tells you uh, the main hand was negative one, offhand negative five, proficiency negative nine. Wow, really doesn't <laughs> really not having good proficiency. Abilities plus four, number of attacks one plus one, offhand. So let's see, what about our overall? Are we better off with the two? Let's take it away and see what how it affects things. Yeah, so that got rid of... It really doesn't want me to have that offhand weapon. I'm sure there's some feats I need to get to, if I really want to go that route. So let's just put the, the shield back on. And I think this... Yeah, here's the shawty dog. Shouty dog. I'll have a salty dog, please. Ah, uh, taverns. 
Goose. So you hold the tab key to see their names. I thought it was Alt, but I guess it's Tab. Not hard. Oh, not you. What should I do? It's, uh, it's probably an NPC. More would-be heroes. Are you savers or sell swords? Have a drink with me. <laughs> Did you know goblins are attacking the town? There's a goblin attack taking place. Grab your weapons. Ah, goblins. We would have heard a warning horn. Look, there's goblins. Are you serious? Damn it all. Ever since I refused to serve on the palisade and freeze my stones off, the Targos Guard has forbidden me to use my axe. That doesn't mean I couldn't sell iron to you. You should need it. I'm a trader, and I could be... I have some arms. Okay, so here's our merchant. Apparently has a wolf charm. This is a wolf totem, a good luck charm. I won it for my cousin's husband, who thought he'd beat me at my best game. Perhaps some dark day I'll run across a man with a stronger gut than me, then I'll pass the charm on to him. Is that a drinking contest, perhaps? Hmm, maybe we'll get the... Maybe there's a drinking contest in our future. Oh, wow, that spear's only worth one gold. Jeez. Uh, sell all the stuff, I guess. The shields are worth four gold. That's decent money. And I only have 136, so we're going to have to be careful. And let's see what he's got. He doesn't have a quarter... I mean, a crossbow. These stupid helmets. Flask of Brag. Slow poison when imbibed. Strength plus two. That's pretty decent. Get, I guess a plus two bonus for three hours. It's 178 gold, though. Probably shouldn't buy that first. Oh, what to do? I guess we give these... Uh, probably get a couple of... Can they use uh, martial weapon bow? Okay, let's see. I don't think they can use that. Let me just double check. I don't think... No, he can only use crossbows. Missile. Sometimes your quarter staff, small blade. Crossbow. Really needed some crossbows. She can use a bow. Okay, this is what I'm thinking here. Let's uh, think anybody can use a sling. <laughs> Should have been a charm. Okay, let's get him. A mace. And we need a great sword. Does he have a great sword? He's got a bastard sword. Is that. No, that's its own thing. <laughs> okay. Well, probably want to just get some. Let's get these guys. Uh, a sling. Yes, and some stones. All right, okay, now he's got 118 gold left. Oh, there's a great axe. They do have this great axe. 1d12. Hmm. Could probably use this instead of the on this guy instead of those two, the shield thing. Might be worth thinking about. But I think we probably want to get some armor. So he's got some armor. He does not. It's his crappy armor, but better than nothing. Leather. Ooh, I guess hide's a little bit better. Max dexterity bonus plus four. No, see, that's how they get you, though. The, you lose your dexterity bonus, and it's actually... 
you get better protection. Okay, let's look at this stuff. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put on your, sh your sling. Some folks call it a sling. I call it a Kaiser. Ah. And a mace. Ooh, I guess I could sell the sword now. And you. Okay, leather armor. Is that the armor? 16, yeah, 14. So he's got 16 armor class, 17, 15, 17. So looking pretty good. Yeah, let's get some more arrows and sell that sword there. I think that'll be good for now. You know, I'll probably find better stuff very quickly, but <laughs> what can you do? That's worth two gold. Is there anything else I might need right away? I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. These arrows. Quick save. And let's go ahead and chat with these other folks while we're here. Kickshaw. Hee hee. I raised my tinker to you, Jeffrey. What did the last do then, pray tell? So then the feisty witch thinks to strike me. Hi. So she grabs the bottle. Jeffrey, my friend, it seems one of the serving boys wants a word. <laughs> Ouch. What the devil do you want? Goblin Raiders outside. So what? You're speaking to, but we are the Iron Collar Band. All the way from Cormier. We had to leave Cormier in some haste. Now stop playing the hog with the ale and fill my tinker. Alright. What else do we need to do here? You're on the way from Cormier. You're one of the mercenary bands. We're an adventuring company, not mercenaries. Though so how we ended up here, I'll never know. You'd rather be back at the Weeping Widow with Column. Well then, I'd rather be drowning than listen. I'd rather be downing this swill than listen to either you, either of them, drawn on. A oh, Column. Okay. Who are those two? Why, our dear friends and compatriots, Colin Bonecutter, a priest cut from the finest cloth, led us to many graves he has, and quite a bit of coin we took from bony hands. Oh, these are grave robbers. I would never stoop to that. <laughs> that wizard we picked up on Luskin. Fain, though the court's still out on him. He joined up with us, suggested we come here to line our purses with some easy gold. Worst mistake we've ever made. All right, so Fane set up camp in some abandoned Wainwright's shop in town. Now the guys at the Weeping Widow, all the end of town. Okay, let's go. We got one other dude here to talk to. Blanchard Pike. Oh, by the hell, it's not you again. Brown does not want to chat. Okay, let's see if the bartender will be able to buy something from him. <laughs> it's no jest, goblins are attacking the town. Jeez. Uh, I guess we can't trade with him? We may just have to fight these goblins off first. Okay. Well, let's go fight some goblins in. A little bit better equipped now. Okay, is it? Yeah, it's M to see the map. So we got a little space over here we can check out. I hear some goblins. Aha! We're kicking butt already. 
Now why is this mage? Why are you getting that close? I guess it doesn't automatically attack him. Okay. Good. Yeah, you see I'm starting to get into the groove again. Some more arrows. Give those to the rogue. Hopefully get a crossbow for her pretty soon. Now that looks like something. Although a light still shines from above, the door to this lighthouse has been hastily boarded up. There's no way inside. There's no way inside that lighthouse? You think it's gonna bother him they can't get into the lighthouse? Should we make a little lighthouse room? No! <laughs> Back to work! We've got to get this game out! Don't you know they're about to release Neverwinter Nights 2? But the lighthouse! Shut up about the lighthouse! Nobody will ever, nobody's going to care that you can't get into that lighthouse. Oh, some more goblies. You know, they're that scared of these goblins, really. They're standing on my treasure. Goblins. Like there's small mice attacking the town. Oh my god! Oh, this guy. <laughs> what happened here? Club. Join the club. Alright. Oh, why isn't this water animated? Wouldn't this be such a better game if the water was animated? I hear some goblins. I hear them. There's another axe. Oh. Some reason my wizard got in the lead again. That the rat's there. He's not supposed to be using the... Oh! There we go. Use the mace. I have a shield too. Some gold. Oh yes. Another shield. We can take this back and sell all this loot if need be. Uh, these doors are red for some reason. I. There's a couple of goblins. Yeah, look, they're just standing there. Would they just die? I must have, like, somehow accidentally turned off AI. Party AI off. Party AI on. I guess I'm not quite clear what the AI... I guess it doesn't include automatically attacking. It's not that smart. Ooh, what's this? A dagger. Look at that chest over there. Locked! Speak. Okay, let's see if you can open up the chest. Probably. Hmm. Another dagger. Like what now? What weapon does she have? Short sword. Does one D six, or I can give her this dagger, which does one D four. Eh, stick with this sh short sword, I think. I also picked up a gem, looks like. It might be worth a little something. Fire agate. I hear Do it. Do it now. Okay, where are we? A little bit more to explore. It's less fun than killing. There's some more. Well, that's those guys that were there when I came in. Now, I still haven't found this Magdar. That looks like an important building. Let's see. 
It's locked. Yeah. Elem shin be done. Speak easier. Something. Magdar, Badulden's wake, you scared the last life out of me. You one of the mercenary bands? Yes, we just sailed on board of the Wicked Witch. Wicked Winch. Oh, here's Magdar. Okay, we ran into three of the guard. He asked me to find you, see if you had any healing potions. Rig must think me a wealthy man, unless he thinks to put all the Targo shipments and supplies at your disposal. <laughs> I think there were some healing drafts in one of the recent shipments from Bryn Shander. It's locked up at one of the crates in this warehouse. And one of these barrels. So we have to open up the crates. One by one. Searching it will take too long. And you best get to it. Not the crate. Who do these shipments belong to? We'll see about paying them back after the gods have been driven out of town. That's all right. How do we get out of this dialogue? Who has the key? I don't need the key. I have a rogue with me. Okay. Uh, 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 quiet! Easy as something. Bullet. Hundreds of hours of gameplay. In that. Oh, you got him. Oh. oh, okay. So some of the kegs you have to destroy. That was a lot. Oh, what do we get? Oh, what the? This is going to be tricky. Where are you going? Well, at least they're not doing much damage. They must have. Is that Thacko? Is that still is that a thing in this game? Third edition? I probably should know things like that. Uh, I think that's kind of old school stuff, right? Do they still have? Yeah, now they've got the attack roll modifiers. All right, get out of here. It's kind of fascinating to me all the different versions of D and D and how they change, make little changes. And some people like them, some people don't. Black. We've got some more leather armor there. Well, she's already weighed down. Yeah, you can't carry much stuff for like a three strength, I suppose. Does everybody have at least leather armor? Need to rest. I'm trying to get rid of her uh, penalty there. I don't think any of the stuff is any good. It's just yeah, standard crap. What? All right, where are we? Got some. Do it. Do it now. It's a decent sized warehouse. Oh, I don't want them wasting ammunition <laughs> just to break a barrel open. How do I? I don't want that. You guys, you guys, chill out. Yeah. Let the melee guys work. You know you're a great warrior when you miss a barrel like six times. Some more armor. Yeah, I totally shouldn't have bought that armor. Territory waste of money. Another sword. It's always in the last barrel you look in, isn't it? Put the dumb keg. Tap the keg. Ooh, that. Whoa, what's. Look different. Oh, there's a little secret. I found a secret. Thank you, Alt Key. That last dagger I picked up, it looked. I guess it's the same. I got some wine. K 
Okay, you didn't even read the description of that one. I worked hard. Enough. Time to test my metal. There's another little thing. Probably worth one gold. There's lock, but maybe this is the one. be done. Ooh. Oh, there's those healing grass. Okay. That's our quest item. Not hard. And I think we've... There's a couple more. Might as well do a thorough job. Oh! Crossbow! Get the... Oh. Why? Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Inventory management. Who had that crossbow feet. Was it her? Crossbow, yeah. Give her the crossbow. She'll be really good with it. Yep, okay. Get rid of the bow. I don't know who else can use. No, can't use it. Where is it? Oh, it's still in the crate. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Get out of the way! Oh, I like that drow voice. It's cool. Let me give her a crossbow. He's as a backup weapon. I think we have to give these arrows to somebody. All right. I think I, I want all, everybody to have a crossbow eventually, but for Speak now. You know, that's historically accurate, because I believe it's, from what I've read, it is a lot easier to use a crossbow. It takes less skill. Interestingly enough, that is historically, or scientifically, oh, that was weird. Uh, that is true. You know, and the main reason is that you don't have, when you fire a bow, you're kind of at the side a little bit, but with the crossbow, you can aim directly down the barrel, which makes it easier to aim. Okay, I guess we're done here. I suppose I got some. Okay. Any reason to talk to the it's dude again? Or is he even still here? I think we'll go give the potion to the guy. It's then take a little break. Killer. I need to make sure this thing's actually recording because I can't see it. Here's the potion. Thanks, down the hatch. Ekpa. You'd think these damn alchemists could learn to make potions that taste like dwarven stout instead of gutter runoff. <laughs> so true. We don't need to rest yet. Alright, so we've done a couple of quests. Why does she have that little icon there? What's, what's that about? I seem to recall something about drow. Something about they don't like sunlight or they take a yeah day blindness current effects. Well, what is the effect? What does it do? <laughs> it won't tell me. You have to look it up. What is this thing you call a manual? All right, let's go ahead and save it here. They we'll call it day blindness. And I will be back to play a little bit more later. All right, let's get back into this. <laughs> Had to stop for a hot dog. Something about all that talk about salty dogs. Just give me a particular craving. Only Ballpark Frank could satisfy. Alright, back in. Uh, day blindness. I wonder what... You know, it would be nice if you could hover over that and see what it does, but... Uh, damn, I, was, I meant to look that up during the break, but... Uh, uh, da -da 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 -da. Current effects, day blindness. 
I would just assume that... Oh, well, I guess I do have sneak attack in this game. For some reason I was thinking that didn't come along till later. It doesn't say... Now, come on. Biography... Information... Races... Uh, drow. Here we go. Light blindness. Negative one circumstance penalty to all attack rolls, saves, and skill checks while operating in bright light. Now, that's a pretty serious limitation. It's just negative one, but still. Sometimes that's all you need. Do it. All right, Do so it now. Give that guy's potion. Is there anything up here? Looks like. Oh, I need to go back and vend. We're running out of space in mule inventory. We ought to have. Now, why does that one look different? Battle axe. Definitely need to go. Oh, I see some armor. Up there. Let's go collect this stuff, sell, and then. Ooh, throwing axe. Useless hermit. No leather armor. I think you only you literally only only get to throw those once. <laughs> it doesn't return. Halt! Identify yourself. Three pictures from Luskin. Stay back. There's a band of goblin raiders cornered inside this warehouse. Oh, big deal! If those raiders start a fire within the warehouse, they could set the docks and the ships ablaze. You mean the Iron Collar mercenaries? <laughs> They're at the kegs. <laughs> they must have heard the alarms. Let me go in and take care of the goblins. Have you seen battle? We need seasoned warriors here, not pups. Play! Let me in that warehouse. All right, then. You'll need to break it down. Don't you have a key? No, you need to bash down the door with your weapons. All right, stand back. I think before we do that, though, oh, I keep wanting to move the map around with WASD. <laughs> There's probably a mod for that. I'm starting to really think I misspoke when I said this game was good to go from the GOG install. I think you're going to want to track down a few handy mods. I think that would help a lot. I don't want to stop and do it now. But just being able to move the map around easier would be nice. I'd give anything to be able to... Uh, it's less fun than killing. I'd give anything to be able to uh, zoom in and zoom out. But to do that, they'd have to redo all the graphics, I suppose. You know, how hard can it be? You know, you think given enough money, launch a Kickstarter and hire some artists? I mean, surely they could redo this game with... You wouldn't have to make it 3D necessarily, but just, you know, make all this look nicer and scale better at high resolution. It just seems like you know, I would pay good money for that. I would support that Kickstarter, wouldn't it's you? Less fun than killing. I don't know if it gives me any advantage to talk to this guy. I'm just going to start from now on. Just That's my reading. How are you doing, Matt? I need to check a couple of these items out. Sell the wine? Now, you never know if these gems, they might be a quest item. Sometimes they don't just tell you straight up something's a quest item. Okay, get rid of the shields. I guess this stuff is absolutely worthless. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Glad I was lugging that around all this time. Eh, I'll hold the short bow. I got another one of those fire agates. Okay, let me see. This guy's got leather armor. He's got 
Studded leather armor. Ooh, studly. Leather, leather, leather. They can't wear anything. So I can go ahead and sell that. Not one of these stupid helmets. Surely some of the headgear does stuff for you. Oh, the cleric can wield a bow for what that's worth. Don't want him to use it, but it's good to, to have in case you get really banged up. So, if you get really banged up, you can back them out of combat and use the ranged weapons. Okay, I think that's... Oh, the healing pot might come in handy. Some more stones. Yeah, you go through those quick. Yeah, it's, it's 25 out of 70. Um, hmm. Not sure what else I could do to lighten her load. I guess I'd get rid of her sword, but... Eh, I guess being yellow here... Probably doesn't make that big of a difference. Okay. Let's get some more bolts. To the Grogue. I remember this. <laughs> Got to buy ammo. Oh. Hours and hours. Hundreds of hours of gameplay. You know, I, I, I saw a mod that was called Unlimited Stacking or something like that. And I'm pretty sure it's just so you could have like 4,000 bullets and never have to look at it again. You know, I just never got into these throwing hammers and stuff. You know, you just... It seems a big pain just to carry around like a hundred axes. Makes no sense to me. Why can't you just pick up the axe? <laughs> you throw it. After combat, pick it up. Maybe you have two or three. I just, I've never got... Figured that out. Oh, I could afford this flask if I want, but... All right, let's see. We good? We have everything. Oh, there's some more armor. So, okay, this equipped. Get that equipped. You know, at least they give you three slots for your quiver. Okay, I think we gotta take those goblins out of the warehouse now. It's less fun than killing. It's right here, right? Yeah. You know, we might as well go ahead and prep a little bit this time. It sounds like one of the bigger battles. Baron Turtle, after battle. Battle. It's got two T's in it. Alright, where's my other guys? Get your butt over here. can't fit in. Alright, what do we got in terms of... We can do a bless. What else we got? Whatever that is. Sunscorch. I think that's a damager. Yes. Eh, nothing useful there. Nothing useful there. So let's... Uh, I'm pretty sure that bless only lasts like a split second. Let's get them all ready to go. We'll just cast it and run right in. Yes. Okay. Boom. Gotta go, 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 go! Oh, it's locked. I forgot that one, too. In there before the bless runs out! What are we dealing with here? Two? Just two? It is a shame that we must resort to. Oh no! Here comes some more. Uh oh! Let's tr let's try a couple spells. I'll hit you with that. How you like that? How you like that? Oh, you didn't like that. I hear you. 
He did not. Like less that. fun than killing. A magic missile. Some barrels you can destroy, and some barrels are invincible. You know, they did say there was a lot less stuff to unlock and traps in this one. Not sure if the first. What the hell? Dead cat? You know, that seems vaguely familiar. It's been too long since I played this, but I seem to remember that dead cat. Ooh, that looks like. If anything's gonna be trapped, it's gonna be that chest. What do you think? Yes, Jabuk. Uh, search? Is that what I used to Why find you? traps? Searching. Oh, maybe nothing's trapped. Oh, she's going to be all right. Yeah, way down. A long sword. Another shield, more armor. What is this? He's got a mace. Trap door, cool. Do it. Do it now. There. Were we supposed to do anything or just kill the goblins goblins? Locked. Elendar. I I am off. Get out of her way. Like half these games is get out, you move that character out of the way. Ooh, oh, great axe. Oh, I need a great sword, not a great axe, but I think that still might be an improvement. This guy, right? He's got axes. Now, let's see how he. Wait, okay. So, with just that axe, he does, he gets one attack plus five on his main hand. Does 1d8 damage. Okay, let's give him that great axe and see how that shakes out. Can't use a shield with that, but does 1d12 and he gets the same other stuff. But I think having a great axe is pretty cool. And look at him with that big old axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's less fun than killing. Oh, wait till I get to the rats. Wait till I get me some rats. I'm a busy man. I can oh, always use to go. Monsters to kill. A lot of these hand masks. Ooh, stairs. That's where I would be if I was a rat. Oh, well, that blast is already worn off. Good. Punch whom? Right. Yeah, I don't know why they don't have an enhanced edition of this one. There must be something. For some reason. I think they did okay on those other enhanced editions, didn't they? I mean, they had enough money probably to keep on going. You know, these are the parts of these games I love the most. You get a nice little area like this to explore. It's when it really starts to feel like D&D &D to me, when you're in some kind of cavern or dungeon like this. Kind of creeping around a little bit. Matter of fact, there is a stealth. Stealth move, what is your right? in there? Oh, I guess you only do one character. Oh, she's only got one level of rogue, so it's not all that amazing, but... I'll scout a little bit. Not hard. It is a shame that we must resort to violence. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. But I like resorting to violence. I like violence. I know the routine. Oh, 
anything. Show me a target. Uh, is it back. something? Can we settle this peacefully? <laughs> These voices are crazy. <laughs> it's not like a pirate. Do it. Do it now. Oh, I hear a bunch of goblins. Attack now. Attack a goblin. Axe a goblin. Chop a goblin. Stab a goblin. Stone a goblin. Magic missile a goblin. Ask politely. Don't talk to a goblin. Don't make love to a goblin. Oh, he's yellow. He's trying to run away. Oh, goblin! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't... Do I need all these damn axes? This is starting to get tires. They're probably not even worth anything. Maybe like one gold. Ooh, what's this? Flaming oil. It's like a really bad pineapple. <laughs> Flaming oil. I think that's an AoE type situation, isn't it? You might need that for a troll later on. Stick that. That's metagaming, man. Well, you know, if there's a troll, they have some kind of a uh, thing where they. Sarklin, attack now! Yeah, that's where you need it. Hey, let's go ahead. Show me use a it. you have me do? It's probably wasteful, but what the hell? Throw that pineapple. <laughs> I only got one of them. That's okay. <laughs> It was worth it. Goblin. Pineapple a goblin. Roast a goblin. Ooh. I see a piece of paper. I'm gonna get him. Oh, sap him. Sap the sapper. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, it's less fun than killing. Oh, I'll go too far. I gotta loot all these corpses. <coughs> One gold. Yeah. Right. I don't know how much long. Ooh, how much longer I'm gonna be picking up all these little weapons? It's so hard for me. I don't know what it's like for you guys, but it's just it just feels contrary to my soul, to my core philosophy to just leave crap. <laughs> Charred vellum scroll. Let's roll it up, scroll this charred on the inside. As if the writing was too hot for the vellum to contain. Oh, it's born. <laughs> Smells faintly of ash, brimstone, and an eye watering variety of goblin smells. So either somebody has Arcana or somebody has Identify. You know, they did tell me I should have. Uh, Identify on my rogue, I think. Rogue conjurer. You don't waste it on these. Uh, <laughs> you don't want that to be on your sorcerer. <laughs> oh, that stinks. So I guess you can carry it around for a little while. I am oh boy, look at all these burrows. What is your agreed? I am ready. Come okay. Come on, come on. I hear not hard. I see some shields. I think those are worth two gold. Oh, these kegs. You know, in real life, a keg is worth probably more than the <laughs> stuff you get out of these. <laughs> you ever try to buy, like, a little keg? It's expensive. Oh, what's this? Broken shield. Oh, surely I don't need a broken shield. My damn leather armor. Why the hell did I buy a pair of leather armor? Leather armor everywhere! Now, is this one of those games where. Ooh. That's a useful spell. Uh, is this one of those games where the uh, stuff stays after you leave? I'm pretty sure it is. So maybe I don't need to be picking up all this stuff. If I get desperate for cash and come back and grab this crap. more fighting. Wow. Man. I hear some party member that doesn't 
is not satisfied. Complaining about combat. And this D and D group of men. There's always this weird thing where they want to. Everybody needs to take a bath and a shower. And, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, this cave in looks like it happened recently. This may have been from the passage of Galvin Sapper's came from. Well, I guess some people like stuff other than just combat and killing everything. I didn't want to think about what it would be like. Alright, I think that's it. I want to find a marketplace and buy some bubble bath bombs. Everybody needs a bath. Of course, I play a, a dwarf. Doesn't like baths. Doesn't like water at all. None of the other characters want to be around him because they say he stinks. Like nobody stank back in the Middle Ages. You wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> I mean, everybody smelled like that. Hunt whom? There's no axe body spray. There's just axe. All right, Brogan, we found a passage. Yep. Caves in the cliff. Could be old pirate caves. Arr. There were quite a few, quite a number of buccaneers spring along Mayor Dueldon. Found this scroll on one of the goblins, however. It looks magical, it was at least. Wouldn't surprise me if the tunnels had collapsed on them. Goblins aren't too bright. They are not. Goblin sappers even dimmer. Still, you might want to take that scroll to Ulbrichlaf. She knows something of magic and might be able to identify it. We met her. In any event, I respect your courage. If I tell you, if I tell, if you tell of your deeds to Lord Ulbrich, he is sure to reward you. Where can I find him? Yeah, I hate this kind of response. No reward is necessary. What the hell? I hope so. <laughs> this is coming from a guy that picked, literally picks up every flipping thing. You know, if they had like bits of pocket land, I'd be picking it up trying to sell it. You can find him in the town above. Simply take the western path up the cliff face, up the cliff face. You'll find Ulrich at the Targos Town. All right, so I guess we can go there then. You know, you probably come back here later. And you can, you know, figure out how to get that guy's wolf charm and such. What was he saying about a cliff face? <coughs> How do we climb up the cliff face? I don't see any way to climb that. Yeah. That's one thing about these old games, you can't... You're just like... You give anything, just people like rotate and zoom. Have I been in there already? Where's the warehouse? Must be over here, I guess. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> Take the stairs to the next zone. Easy as something. Ah! What the? Okay, <laughs> there was nothing. Why do you have a dead cat? <clears throat> ah. That music! Oh my god! Oh, it was so good! Hmm. Makes me want to kill. 
Rats! So bad. Yeah, this is just as good a music as you'd find in a, any movie. They're really good. Oh my god. And I did a little, little Twitter poll. A little Twitter feed and I was asking people what was their favorite. You know, what's your favorite all the time? <clears throat> uh, CRPG soundtrack. And a lot of people pick this game. It's usually this and a lot of people like Diablo. That guitar track. I'm just trying to make an honest living, and the gods deny me even that. This might be a good spot to save it here. Just double check. Make sure my recording is still recording. Yep, everything's looking good, so let's continue on. I have this nightmare of doing like an eight hour long recording and then you got nothing. Alright, let's see what this guy is. What the <laughs> what the If you're here about the lumber, then you best have brought more hands to help you carry this shipment, because there's no way to get it from the crane to the walls without more help. He needs lumber support. Lord Ulbrich commissioned a load of lumber from Walnutwood, and I made arrangements with him to have it shipped to the Palisade. Blah, 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 blah. You can help you haul it. <clears throat> sure, why not? I would need two score of men to get it there. <sighs> you know, that music just makes it all okay. <laughs> And I'm not kidding, this is good music. I love this. Hmm. And we cannot help you find someone who can. Wait, was that a quest? Did I mess that up somehow? You get the May I help? You get Radigar sure. to talk to him. If we find someone... Ah, well, maybe we just need to do that and come back and just remember! Oh, I can make a note, right? Yeah. Let's see. Note. Oh, ah, ah. Go back! Go back! Alright, how do I make a note? Ooh, that's neat. Uh, area notes. Okay, yeah. There we go. Guy needs help with a crane. <laughs> the we uh, weeping widow Do inn. It. Do it now. At the weeping widow. Poor widow. I guess if it was my end, it would be called the, the Laughing Widow. <laughs> the Ecstatic Widow. Punch me. Cold out in it. Cold out in it. Now you might be ready to come swiftly through the doors of Widow. Well, fresh crawl seal souls from myself. Do you know of any work? <clears throat> yeah, that's what I. First thing I do, I go to a bar. Hey, any work? You know any place I can get a job around here? I wanna. There's plenty of coin to be had. Spilling goblin blood. Yeah. Ooh, I see the word rat. Not cut word of the filthy little rats. Oh, is he? Is he being metaphorical? Ah, come on. There's gotta be some rats in this game. I already had an encounter. What do you know of them? What are they so scared? These guys, you you blow on them, they fall dead. I didn't accidentally put this game on easy, did I? Okay, Colin, I guess we go find him for whatever reason we'd want to do that. The Weeping of the Spirit. 
Oh, so yeah. Weeping Widow, there's a ghost here. Oh, interesting. Interesting. A woman passed away in that room long ago. I love ghost stories. A woman passed away in that room long ago. She was waiting for her man to return from Dual Dawn, but he was lost in a storm. And the poor woman hurled herself from the window upstairs to the cliffs below. Oh. Well. That's sad. You could still hear her weeping at night, and I've had the room warded out of respect to her grief. Sad tale. <laughs> and this is a better hotel manager than I've ever seen. Sad tale to be sure if there's anything. You know, most of them be charging you extra to stay in that room. There might be something I could do to help her. Truly? And then here's the key to the room. Set that poor woman's spirit at ease. Okay, and I think I had to be... I probably had to rest until night or something. Let's see, ward on the door. What ward? Ward. ward. <coughs> As in Montgomery. Okay. Didn't do looking good. The priest again. Blah, blah, blah. So I guess the priest that was part of that worthless adventurers group tried to help was not successful okay why don't you take the matter to Lord Ulbrich can I see this potion huh not sure it does seem magical we could try to identify it <laughs> yeah, as if we could where's this wife mentioned again I'm gonna have to go find her to get stuff identified Oh, I don't want to rest right now. Let's see, is there anything else I need to talk to this guy about? The other work? Okay. And there's a potion there, but I guess I can't... <clears throat> Probably have to have that identified before I can solve this quest. I bet you that is the setup. You did notice there weren't any cows in town. Horrifying. Not sure what's so horrifying about some hanging meats. Locked. Now, is he going to get mad if we pick the lock? <laughs> What if we pick the lock on your door? Go in and steal your stuff. Ooh, lamp oil. Is, la is lamp oil needed for something? 2d8 fire damage to a single opponent. Hmm. That does sound useful. Maybe I'll give that to my... That's what he used up his uh, little flaming pineapple already. Alright, somewhere here there should be that priest. No. I probably should have search mode on. Oh, locked. Well, I don't see that priest anywhere. Maybe it has to be night time to see him too. Be done. She's a good. She hasn't. She's opened up every lock so far. Man. So I'm sure I have to come back here at night to be able to uh, see the ghost. But I think I should. Oh, masterwork dagger. Ooh, Master Dagger. Do it now. I bet that's probably better than what's that sword. See, this is a 1d6. This is a 1d4, but it gives you plus one on your attack bonus. To me, it is much better to actually hit something. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much damage the weapon does if you can't hit with it. Not hard. 
All right. So we got to go find this this guy's Lord Ulbrick and his his lovely wife. Not hard. And I can tell I'm getting back into this game because I'm just like obsessively hitting the quick save like every every second. Quick save, quick save. You know, you also need to have a couple of running saves just in case you screw up something. Sometimes it's nice to be able to go back to a much earlier save. Okay. I'll do it now. This is a really good, really good uh, design too. It makes you feel like you just kind of walked into an air conditioned store. <laughs> yes, yeah, because everything in here is nice and neat, well organized. So you want to buy anything? You should talk to Deirdre. <laughs> Why are you here? Damn near five ten. Uh, flavor text. Did Ulbrich send you to seize more lumber? No, no. What is this place? Actually, I've come to. It's the remains of the Galloway Trading Post of Targos. Galloway. Useless. Enough of that. What can I help you with? Come to purchase supplies. Truly, then please look around. <clears throat> all right. First, <laughs> I have all the crap I've been lugging. Those hand axes are worth two gold. It was worth the, probably worth lugging those. One of these iron rations heals three hit points. Okay. Well, that might, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Now that could be useful. Let me get some more Kleenex in here. All right, so you want to take my dead cat, eh? You know, I'll probably carry that damn dead cat around this whole flipping game, thinking it's a quest item for somebody. Eh, I guess I should sell it. Long sword. I just can't bring myself to sell a long sword. Okay, no. This isn't the person that identifies stuff. I could do it here, but it costs a hundred gold. Eesh. Let's see what they got for sale. Master Wick Arrows, Masterpiece Theater, a billet plus one. Dots. Get a couple more crossbows for my other, for my sorcerers there. Ooh, the left hand of darkness. Oh, there's a big write-up about it. <clears throat> you know you never read this. You're just like, Shh. that's damage plus one attack bonus. Oh, so you get a plus one to your damage and plus one to your attack. Special wilder is immune to disease and immunity to disease. Wow. That is awesome. It's only 345 gold. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Ah! Whoa, all kinds of goodies. Oh, oh. All right. Calm down. <laughs> I'm going to get like every damn item and sell it here so I can afford some of this stuff. Okay. Uh, what is the executioner's wife? Oh, it's 3,000 gold. I'm not even going to torture myself by looking at that description. Memories of Koldahar. It's a mace. Oh. That does a 1d6 plus 1. Attack bonus plus 1. Enchantment plus 1. Resistance to cold. That's an awesome mace. That'd be great for my uh, cleric. Black chimes. Man, they did a great job on this. I mean, this vendor has some great stuff that you want to save up and buy. It's like a kid looking at a, the wish book. I just dated myself with that reference. <laughs> What's your wish book, Uncle Matt? <laughs> oh, just imagine, I don't know, Amazon, but not Dredge and Claw. What do I actually need? <clears throat> Need a great sword. Heart of Rotner Stern. Wait a minute. One of my characters is named. Oh, I get it. 
You clever little bugger. What is this? This is a large sword. Is that the same thing as a great sword? Oh my god. Is that is there a different category? Is surely not, huh? What? Okay, I'm very confused. Great sword. So there's martial weapon great sword. Martial right. So that is a large sword. Okay, that makes no sense. So I can't actually I need one that's uh yeah, I need one with great sword. That stinks. You can cast doom once. What you mean literally only once ever? Well, that's not that awesome. I might buy the masterwork great sword. That might be ooh, a gem bag though. I'll probably need that above all else. You know, believe it or not, this is that's gotta gotta get that. Various shields. Flank of the Virgin. <laughs> virgin alert. Virgin alert. Right, let's buy that gem bag. Okay. I got 360 gold. Sure, there's nothing else here I can hawk. I guess, yeah, sell it. <laughs> sell it. Sell the cat. Oh, sell the wine. No. I only buy wine. I never sell it. Splint mails of armor or the great sword? I don't think there's any question. Oh, it's 483. You have to get the regular one. Or... All right, let's go ahead and equip that and sell the old one, though. What's the matter? I'll get rid of that stuff. You know, again, I better keep at least one, one a bludgeoning set. All right, there we go. That should be good for him. He's got a great axe. He's got his mace. She's got a crossbow. They got slings, but I think uh, where's it say weapons? Crossbow. They don't get anything for sling. Maybe that's included here. Simple weapon missile. Probably. Yeah, so I guess they're probably okay. I guess a crossbow probably does more damage than a sling. Hmm. How may I best serve? Uh, we could probably figure that out real quick. Let's see. A rock does 1d4. And a crossbow. 1d8. Oh, double damage. Oh, there's no question. Got to get rid of those slings immediately. <laughs> immediately! <laughs> Trash them! Throw them away! We're getting crossbows, baby. Oh, oh, oh! Not darts. And go ahead and buy some bolts. Oh, I got into the wrong guy. Okay. Let's buy a couple of these badasses. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Get these guys crash boots. Oh, yeah. This would be much better than stupid old sling. I hate slings. Slings suck. I didn't even know they could use crossbows. For some reason, I was thinking you had to use slings. That must be a third edition thing. I don't remember my... If I do Baldur's Gate next, I'll have to consider... I'll have to check to see if we can use crossbows and that. I'm almost positive they don't let you. For some reason, you're limited to slings. I might as well hold on to this for backup. You know, I guess this, yeah, these are blood crushing, it says. Well, if we run into those enemies that have resistance, it would probably be useful for these guys to have a, a bludgeoning backup as well. It doesn't really weigh anything. It's not worth that much. I think it'd be worthwhile to have a little backup there. 
I don't want to have to carry around these rocks. Yeah, <laughs> what are you thinking, Matt? <laughs> Can't put a rock in a gym bag. Uh, that will clog up some a few slots for that, but it's okay. <clears throat> Or anything else I have to have. Uh, I wouldn't mind some better armor. Ooh, keg splitter. Craftsman's hammer. Halberd. Yeah, there's some chain mail. Can't quite afford it. I can get the studded leather armor, though. I hate buying this. I'll probably find something better right away, but <clears throat> let's just see. Plus three, plus five versus plus two, plus six. Maybe by one. I'm pretty sure I'll get some better options. Yeah, they didn't prove that. He's got it. I'm trying to remember what his uh, stats are. So he could use some. <clears throat> I'll do it now. All right. Um, studded leather, studded leather armor. You know, watch me find like chainmail in the next goblin. You just watch it. Okay. Upgrade to the bedazzled. Leather armor. It's got sequins. Rhinestone cleric. Every year look at the body things on the dirt. She's red out of her. Alright, I red head one. Talk about red head. Well, if she actually had red head. But I can't see what color her hair is because she's got a hood on. Someone has engraved the image of a rearing lion and a cackling witch on the side of the wardrobe. <laughs> oh, a little, little, uh, a little Easter egg, is it? You know the reference? I'm not going to tell you if you don't know. It's a pretty good series. I read it as a youngster. <laughs> oh man, be careful with those boxes. I'll do it now. All right. <clears throat> Where is Uldrick? Uldrin, son of Uldrin. The door to this small cottage has been nailed shut and scratched on the door are the words Gone the Brinchender. Gone the Brinchender. This door is nailed shut and on its door says we did not feel like <laughs> developing additional content. We were in a hurry. Ooh, that looks special. <clears throat> A large shield. Anybody need a large shield? Well, Matt the Rat Slayer is looking pretty badass. Get himself a large shield. Yeah, supersize my shield. Is this another tavern? What is this place? Oh, a bunch of people to talk to. Punch whom? Captain Mariner, is that you, Captain? It's me, Gerd and Tanner. 
I was sent to head as a scout. <coughs> <coughs> Reyna is my beloved. We were to be married soon. That's nice. <laughs> Gotta go. I wrote a letter to my love, but I'm stranded here. If only I could get to Captain Mariner. He could give it to her. Okay, take the letter. Oh, could you? Get myself a side quest. Good day there. Are you with the reinforcements from Luskin? Aye. Deagle Elmwood. <laughs> yes. I am Deagle Elmwood. I came when I heard Baron was under attack. I had friends there, but I'm sad to say. Please excuse me if I have trouble talking about it. I... Carry on, Deagle. Yes, Deagle Elmwood. That's a great name. <laughs> and Deagle. If I ever make a fake ID, I'll call it Deagle Elmwood. The snow birth, the snow's birth goblins, splintered forest of dead trees. Oh my God, it's a poet! Back off, back away. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, shit. it's a quest. A raven eclipsed in red, half a lot of wings and blood who hates her hand. Still, Taurus of heath and green, a hell cold one to itself in the shadow. The shadow of the three and it beast. Rest easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I get enough of that at all. Oh, there's a little. Maybe we could rob the hospital. Locked! Get your. Yes, Get over here, you drow. Drow women. Don't you have any respect for male authority? <laughs> have you ever read. R. A. Mc R. R. A. Salvatore. <laughs> okay. What is this? Book of the Deserving. Whoa! Holy. Whoa! Cast the spell Bless once per day? Really? Really? Oh, that's. Wait a minute. Who can actually use the thing? I guess you have to be a cleric. Cannot use item. Why not? Oh, I guess you have to be a priest of Temp Tempest. Oh, he can use it! <laughs> That's awesome! Punch who? Reward the players for rock ransacking the. <laughs> First aid to upgrade uh, your boat from Luskin. Uh, Priest of the Red Knight, do you need healing? How does it battle? Who's the Red Knight? Don't ever ask a religious person about their religion. Uh, do you know where I can meet up with the captain of the Neverwinter Forces? Garrett and Tanner want me to deliver this to him. Yes. Yeah, uh, no offense intended. I'm sure the letter was intended for his love. Yes. I don't know. <clears throat> Wait, I have to give it to him? Trying to send some kind of covert message about how our troops are allocated throughout the day. He's a doppelganger? Huh? Look for Garrett. I don't know what's going on here. Hmm. Intrigues. Let's see, I don't really need healing, but he might have some items. He's got some cool rings. Ring of the Wise. Whoa! Wisdom plus one, I gotta get that. Can't afford it now, but I will be back. Oh, who's got a... Surely somebody here needs a dead cat. Alright, <clears throat> who else is here? I want to get my high charisma it. character to do the talking for me. Ok, 
Came to help on the war effort. <coughs> Excuse me. You think too much, gentlemen. You spend as much time fighting as you spend talking and thinking about fighting. What can I do for you? You never know if you need to go through every one of these options to see if there's a <coughs> side quest in there. Recently arrived. Da -da -da -da. One too many blows from a buck bear morning star. As for me, a warg on the southern plains fell under my sword but over my leg. Ah, that old warg <laughs> over the leg excuse. I hear you. I've it's got long warg over the leg. Get out of here. Wait a minute, should I get talk to the something? The guy that gave me that letter, let's talk to him. Ah! <laughs> Classic Icewind Dale too. Not hard. This is the guy, right? I know you're not asleep, Gerd, and the letter you gave contains explicit info. Damn you! Damn all you humanoids to hell! It is your mistreatment of those who look different, those who live different. You forced this day to come. Don't blame me for what I'm about to do. It's all your fault. At least I won't have to live in the stench of your filthy town any longer left to humans. Long live the Chimera! Woo! You know what? I'm going to use yeah. a spell on this son. Gun. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and hit him with some. Hit him with some. Uh, yes. Hit him with your best shot. Yeah, you're right. Give him a little bit of that magic missile. Yes. How <laughs> about a chromatic orb? Ooh. Ooh, he did some damage. This might be a serious fight here. I suppose I got some time to kill. What do I do? Cast. Maybe I can cure him? Got him. Woo, that's a tough fight. Speak. It's less fun than killing. Got 300 XP for doing that. <coughs> you could talk to this guy again. Maybe he's got a reward for me. Uh, is this the right guy? I don't need advice. Aid? After you didn't lift a finger? <laughs> yeah, you didn't even help me fight that thing. Uh, let's see, Deagle. Just want to make sure I don't get any more reward. Okay. <clears throat> and I still haven't even hit level 2 yet. It's less fun than killing. And back in these days, you had to earn those levels. You had to do a lot of crap to get to the next level. That was a big deal. It's a big deal to level. You're like, oh yeah. Okay, checking all the cracks. <laughs> Ooh! I see something. Yeah, <coughs> <coughs> I got this little bit of a cough, sir. Uh, an item, some type of potion. Maybe you should just. Who would be able to identify? Oh, she was able to identify it. Cat's Grace. I guess we don't know how long it's going to last. Oops. You know how these games are. What? You don't ever use the potions and at the very end you have like crap tons of potions you've been carrying around. <coughs> 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 Devil. 
Okay. What should I do? Surely. He let us through the gates. And we're gonna find Ulbrick. Town Hall on the east side. Punch wounds. So he should be over here somewhere. The other east. Fane of the Rags. <clears throat> I suppose explanations are in order. I had thought this house had been lit out to me, but it must belong to you since you're barred still without so much as a rap at the door. <laughs> uh, what questions do we have for Fane? Let's see. What about this scroll? I'm afraid I must take it from you. It's one of a pair, you see. What are you talking about? I'd hoped the Horde would have seized Targos by now. Oh, he's a bad guy. But tomorrow has long since forsaken me. It seems I must make my own luck. Traitor within Targos's walls. Is that so? I'm terribly frightened. Before you die, take comfort in the fact that I will be sparing you from dying on Targos's pitiful palisade. We'll see who dies this day, trade of affairs. yourself. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> probably want to take this Which guy picture? out quick. Don't like spellcasters. They have a way of messing you up. Right oh, I summoned some goblins. Alright, keep attacking him. Oh. oh, okay. Got the got the mage down. Let's see about these little goblies. You see, I don't want to use bless instead of attacking something. But oh, well. This guy can't take another hit. I. What you be needing, No, 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 no. <laughs> oh boy. I hope I can do this. I hear you. Oh, somebody leveled up. <clears throat> All right. Woo! That was close. <laughs> Heart's beating fast. We got him, though. <clears throat> Cut me another pineapple. Another pineapple. Glad they didn't use those pineapples on me. Ooh, some kind of magic robe. All kinds of goodies in here. Locked. Another book. Alright, let's just quickly uh, go through this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna read all that. Scroll. A gold ring. Just a regular old quarter staff. <coughs> Fane's robe of rags. So it gives you a deflection bonus plus two and some cold resistance. That's uh You know, definitely better than nothing. Oh actually that's like armor. Wow, that's really good. Yay! Did I search in here already? Oh, jeez, I think I did. Okay, I think this is again a good spot to save. Let's save it here. Defeated Fane of the Rags. And I'll be right back. Alright, back in. Oh, I totally forgot to do what I went up there to do. All right. Well, anyway, let's just see if I can do this. All I need to do is level him up, but I, I'm not sure what the... Uh, <clears throat> I know I want to do Barbarian, but I'm not sure what... Uh, let's 
Let's see, wilderness lore thing. I guess he gets a feat. Okay, so I guess that's all right. <clears throat> you know, eventually I'm going to have to look up to see what the uh, what I need to do in order of uh, skills and spells and such. And unfortunately, it's not easy for me to switch over because of the weirdness with the interface. I really like playing games in a window instead of full screen and doing these videos, but it's okay. Alright, this must be the guy. Not hard. Oh, let's get a May I help? Let's get a be done. Charismatic individual to talk to. If you're one of the mercenary <clears throat> companies, then your place is at the docks, not here. I've received word we're under attack. And every sword is needed at the cliffs. That's a great voice. Who is that? It sounds familiar. Uh, we just sailed in on the Wicked Witch. Whoever you Wicked are, winch. if you want to serve Targos, then you'd best have brought me word of what's happening at the docks. Rumors are flying through the streets, and the people are in a panic. I need information, and I need it now. Goblins are attacking the docks. That's the first piece of good news I've heard since these raids began. You've done well, and are to be commended for your efforts in Targos' defense. Indeed, sir. I would ask you to excuse my rudeness when you first arrived. <clears throat> these goblin raids have been chipping away at my patience, and they could not have come at a worse time. It's okay. I need to know how these goblins were able to reach the docks without being detected. There was no warning from the Palisades. And they were not sighted passing through the main town. We found a nest of them in a ward of caves. Looks like goblin sappers tunneled up. Damn it. I ordered those caves sealed not long after we drove the smugglers from Mayor Dwalden. But it seems those goblins sniffed them out anyway. That's what okay. concerns me is that sapping takes time. Even if they were well, able to we break just into kill the, the mage? smuggler tunnels. <laughs> that was the... that kind of effort takes planning. And it means the goblins had to be kept focused for weeks, perhaps months. These raiders are more organized than I suspected. <clears throat> As you no doubt already know, a force of goblins has gathered in the region. Really? And they have been testing our defenses. They are well armed and well organized. We don't Their need specifics. <laughs> Just tell us where to sign. <laughs> Your station will be on the palisades outside of town. Take the northern gate and okay. speak to Shawford Crail. Come Let's very see. well, but yeah. time is short. As you know, a I'll just quickly go through all these items first, here. It was then a band of goblin raiders. Just no to word see yet if on there's any uh, and Braston, Two of my here. best scouts. They, as you know, a force of goblins has gathered in the region. Mm -hmm. At first, it was then a band of goblin raiders attack. Report to the Palisades beyond the north. Okay. <laughs> Surely I can't go ransacking this guy's house. <laughs> Easy as something. Can I find something in the couch cushions? <laughs> it's the coins in the couch. Oh, it's great. You know, I love the little humor stuff in this. Little subtle humor. <clears throat> what? Roth English. <laughs> Stupid old dagger. Yeah, it's just grabbing your place. Uh, stupid old book. Oh, I bet you that's the lady we're supposed to talk to. Maybe I can sell her the book. Maybe I can sell her these books I'm stealing from her. There's no book. I like how the book looks like the cover of the box of the game. Oh, she recognized that I'm a drow. It's an unusual profession for a drow. <laughs> Speaking to you seconds be that here. Do not presume to question me. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, we have come to offer services. Have scroll here. Okay, yeah. 
So she only charges 50 to identify something. Expended teleportation scroll. Yeah, that was well worth 50 bucks. Thank you for that. <laughs> I can't sell it. I can't sell it to the books I just took off her shelf. Oh my god. Sell that. Now if she's going to put some back, then I can pick them up and sell them again. I shouldn't have even picked up that stupid quarterstaff. I think these sorcerers, I know they can't learn things from scrolls, but I'm pretty sure they can cast. Open container, sell. Okay, time to again. So, if you tell me there are these troubles, and the magic. Oh, there's something. Valen Gindelcross is a diviner for Bryn Shander. With a guy that's XPN, he offered to help us locate the main camp. Unfortunately, he's taken ill. We've seen him in the pavilion. Is there anything we can do to help him? It is doubtful. Without knowing the cause of this ailment, even the spells of the priest will prove useless. Uh, any spells you might be able to part with? Okay. Bunch of scrolls. Got some items here, though. Let's see what she's got. <clears throat> scroll case, that'll be useful. Anything like that is automatic purchase. Ring of Mage Armor, 16, Traveler's Robe, Bracers, Amulets. Some <laughs> Goblin Hunter. Pipes of the Wheezing Dragon. Girdle of Beatification. Beautification? <laughs> Beatification. Beautification? Be the be beauty, <laughs> beautification. <laughs> Never sure in a role playing game. Well, I don't have enough money for any of this stuff. Okay. Uh, not hard. Well, let's get out of here. What was she saying about? It's not the one we killed, is it? Shortly before his attempt to find the location of the Goblin Fortress. I don't know if we need to go back there and talk to him again. This is like we're game banshees so useful. I don't need to go there. Let's go back real quick to that pavilion. Scroll. Uh, who do we need to talk to about the scroll? <clears throat> wow, look at that. Okay, somewhere here. I found him. I uh, got the reader. Need a search. Oh yeah, we gotta go back and do something about that weeping widow. Oh forgot to get this potion in. Oh wait, was that the one that Do I still have a potion I don't have identified? Yeah, I guess we need to have that identified. Ghost touch by oh, she did it free. <laughs> okay, what does that do? Ghost touch enchantment, which allows the pieces of the which allows pieces of the ethereal plane to be held within it. Okay, so we should be set up to do that quest nicely. Uh, now can you put what can you put in there? Not that. That. Can I put books in there? <laughs> nope. Wrong item tape, you dummy. I hear you. 
It's only for squirrels. Not hard. It's deagle. Stone foe. There's Valen. Tell me I best surely. Talk to Valen here. Ask me to try to help you. Brig. Oh, I've seen that before. Speak. That flask is Brig. I knew I should have purchased that. Well, they're going to start giving me some gold because uh, I'll do it now. I can't afford any of this stuff. This guy needs help with the crane. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I need to go ahead and this guy. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see you standing there. What can I do for you? You only five was pieces there of something gold. I was supposed to do for you? Introductions? Of course, introductions. Sometimes the ideas will start rattling around in my head, and I'll wake up. My name's Fiddlebender. Oswald, that is. Well, Fiddlebender's my oh. last name. My first name is Oswald, <laughs> so it's Oswald Fiddleman. Nice. A pleasure to meet you. Ship? Oh, you mean this one here? You mean my airship? Yes, yes, indeed, it's mine. But most ships travel upon you imagine what it must have been like this to be. One, however, you know, where there were Josh, air. Chris, talking about all this. <laughs> I thought there was some really fun conversations. All right, let's get. I will assist you with it. I don't mind. In the other game, he's got ah, some cool items. Back. Some ship? Oh, you mean you mean my most ships travel? Oh, Indeed, it does. Why? Cool. I think there's an awful lot of mountains around Calder. Nice. Oh yes, merrily. Quite. Oh yes, the dand of <laughs> Fortunately, all the residents uh, have already. See. Oh well, it's now it's... that's an. Oh, didn't I tell uh, you why? I made what? potions. I mean, well, among. So he's got these potion. Oh, potion bag. Definitely gonna have that. Uh, what's this other stuff? I suppose he's got that flask of brig. That's some cool stuff. Ah, I probably shouldn't be back. zipping through these. Something uh, I can ship. Oh. You mean All these dialogue like options so ships quick. travel upon the water. Indeed it does. It was one oh, There's yes, something about it me, so I wonder fortunately if might all the be residents a... have already fled at my approach. So it was mm. only a matter of Oh well now that mm, let's see. There's spider silk, fresh spider. Very true, very true. Can't see this well, of course they can. Just get a giant to th Oh, didn't <laughs> I tell you? Must have. Why? I make potions. I mean, well, among us, not often. Very dangerous, some of them. Can we go for a ride on your airship? <laughs> some are both. Oh, yes, the damage there. Well, the land, of course, they're fortunately. That's kind of a funny concept, a guy in an airship that's so making explosive time before the flames died down and we could approach the ship. Okay, I guess he does. He's probably got some side quests if you dig real carefully through all that. But. Do it. Do it now. I want action. All right, so that looks like we've pretty much explored this area. Let's go back to the. How's the trade depot? Where's the hotel? Yeah, here we go. Let's go back here and see if we can solve this ghost mystery. Lumbar Groon. I guess we haven't yes. met anybody yet that can help him it. out. Nope. I could help you haul it there. I wonder who's able to help uh, him. I'll do it now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'll do it now. I guess I could eat those iron rations. That helped a little bit. Okay. 
punch whom? Two hundred. Ghost touch bottle. There was only water inside. Only the, only the bottle itself was enchanted. That damn priest and it was worthless. You know who might be interested in it? Well, perhaps the lady Elithera could shed some light on how it might be used. She's said to be an enchantress. You can find her in the town hall. <laughs> we can have some gold bead dice. <laughs> well, you offered to take a look at it, didn't you? Yeah, fair enough. Ooh. Level up. I am ready. Okay, let's see if I can do this without having to, to look it up. Alright, he just goes for another level of a cleric. And I think he's going to want concentration. Okay. He'll probably get some additional spells, I would assume. Where's that spell menu? Yeah, here we go. Spell slots available. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe another cure light wounds. And another level two spells, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm level level two, it's so exciting. Oh. Okay, this is the Cleric. Now this is the one I'm not sure if we're going to go straight cleric or not. Uh, I think so. There was a couple I know they wanted me to. Uh, you know. Mix it up a little bit. I'm not sure. Ah! Uh, Wish I could just open up, have the window open on the side. All right, this guy. I think concentration's probably just where I'm going to want to be for a while. Yeah, get some more spells. One of these spells. <laughs> we'll find it eventually. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah, I like the cure light wounds. That's good. Okay, this one will become a conjurer. Remember that. So shift now to wizard. Now wait a minute. How do I pick a subclass? It just says conjurer. Okay. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay, Conjurer specializes in creating creatures and objects to assist him. And then we get some of these. So we're going to want to keep on putting points in. Device and open lock. And what else? Move silently. Can't do that one. Uh, what's alchemy for? Identify potions, poisons. Okay. Yeah, this is where it's gonna get tricky. I don't know what to pick. Yes, I need to get spell focus enchantment. All right, and then I'm gonna get some spells. <laughs> I don't get any spells? What's going on with that? No known spells. Well, I guess you don't automatically learn a couple spells when you level, huh? Well, it's a good thing I got these, I suppose. Let's go ahead and save and see if I can actually learn those. Let's see, this guy's got some more, right? Uh, don't... I think I can... I have to save it because, you know, they will mess you up here. Sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, for some reason I can't learn that. Why not? 
Uh, I guess conjurers can't work with the uh, evocation. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see about these. Uh, level up. So these would be just straight sorcerers. They stick to concentration. And what else? Spellcraft. That's. Yeah, I guess you don't. Do you never get new spells, or is it a, only every other every other level or something? Okay, this is the one that's got all of least. It's got all of our uh, speech abilities. So you might. I don't know how far we want to go with those. Take a quick gander here. And sorcerer, SMR. Sorcerer. Sure, SMR. Skills. It's here somewhere. Double-headed. Bluff diplomacy. Yeah, all the usuals. Bluff diplomacy. Concentration. Uh, I think I took bullheaded, so I wouldn't have to have that so much of that right now. I could focus on these. Uh, what am I missing here? Diplomacy. Intimidation. Can't do that for some reason. Okay, let's I'm gonna do concentration. I must be missing one. Let's see, knowledge arcana, open lock, search. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to do spellcraft and knowledge of arcana. Why is that one in one? One. Trained only. Yeah, there's a few little odds and ends here. I think it's something to do with uh, some of some of the skills are cross class or something like that. Some kind of little perk there. Okay, so she's got some levels now of mage. I just need to find somebody that mirror image granting a bonus of plus two deflection. Probably not as useful as mirror image, but. I guess it might stack. Does it stack with that? Yeah, I guess if it's harder to hit me, my mirror images last longer. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Why does it clear? Oh, level one. Okay, good, good, good. And I don't get any new spells. <laughs> All right, might as well rest, and then we can do, do the ghost quest. Do it now. Need to rest first. Peasant. What's the difference between these two? Good, clean mattress. I guess we could pay a little bit more for that. <laughs> okay. Where is the ghost lady? You might actually have to look up how to do this quest. It is night time, right? Let's see, how does this work? Hour 13. What is that? You may not rest at this time. Is uh ghost lady? Hmm. Well, let's look at the journal. I got to go all the way back to her. Hmm. He said she appears at night, so she probably checked her room then. I hear you. Is it in fact night? <laughs> I didn't see an option to like 
wait until night or something like that. Uh, okay, tell me about her. Let's see what rooms. Uh, no, 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 no. Is it night time? <laughs> Simple question. <laughs> Oh no, it's not night time. Okay, how do I wait till night time? It's less fun than killing. Need to rest first. Uh, how many hours does this rest? Sure you wanna rest, yeah. Rested eight hours. Okay. <laughs> Is it night time now? No. Oh my god, this is... He may not rest. Something. Well, how the heck am I supposed to... Am I just supposed to keep paying until it, like, exactly lines up? That's terrible. Do it. Do it now. Oh, there she is. Okay. Alright, not this Donovan. Who haunts this place? In life, Vera was the name I bore. Such empty names mean nothing now. I carried worth only upon my husband's lips. Why are you weeping? Sorrow consumes me. Oh. Speak. You know, I'll probably have to go talk to the lady about the bottle, then come back. Yeah, I guarantee you that's what I need to do. So I should be able to knock that out pretty quick. Let's see. Go there. <clears throat> Not hard. Yes. Limba Grand World. We're all level 2 now. It's, this type of quest is just a little bit beneath these level 2 characters. We're all fancy now. You know, this guy got a barbarian, right? Uh, how do I get his barbarian skill? Oh, there we go. I haven't, made, I haven't even been using this power attack. Power attack one, power attack two. What the hell? What does that mean? Using feet, power attack one. Power attack two. <laughs> Just the, what? Huh? What is power attack? Oh, that's helpful. Is there any information about power attack? Uh, you can make exceptionally. Only have. Subtract a number from all melee rolls and add the same number to all melee damage rolls. Oh, so I guess they let you kind of fine tune it. Okay. And then the rage. Let's see how that works. Abilities. No. Uh, skills. <laughs> rage. I guess I have to go here. Barbarian. Rage once per day every four levels. Rage gives plus four to constitution strength, two point armor class penalty. Okay, so that's just pretty much constitution and strength bonus. And let's just see. Let's look here. So he's got a main hand, power attack plus two damage. But that should be taking some away from my hit, right? Yeah. This is really confusing. Um, main hand plus five. Is that... Looks like it's factoring in my power attack here. Let's just turn it off and see what happens. A little trial and error. Okay, stopped using it. Yeah, okay, so that's working. So I get a plus seven to hit. 
So I could take two of those away and do a little bit more damage. So again, it's that old problem of <laughs> would you rather miss more often and do more damage? So I guess it's worth it. You know, I guess uh, this guy wouldn't have me take these uh, I hear those feats you. if he didn't think it was useful. Not hard. I guess it probably does. If you do the math, it probably is better to to lose a little bit of accuracy. It's less fun than killing. Because yeah, you get a d d twenty on those rolls. Oh, I looked in there. Yeah. All right. Take a closer look at the bottle. How curious the potion is only water. Just touch. The bottle can hold the essence of the ethereal plane inside. Depend on the enchanter. Enchantments carried by the ethereal realm, realm can be quite potent. A ghost-touched item might be made from even the smallest trace of the spirit's essence. Would the tears of a ghost sir? Yes, it would. Oh, I see where your question leads. Are you thinking of the haunting of the Weeping Widow? Can you tell me anything about the spirit? Ghost of a woman. I believe he is said to have sailed out into the lake to obtain a tear. Sending her heart to rest first. It's my pleasure. Tell me what this brimstone scroll might have been used for. Teleportation? Yes, one of a pair. Fane attacked you, so he was behind this betrayal then. It's our pleasure. <laughs> Your thanks should be worth its weight in gold. Okay. Did I get any XP for that? What should I do? Surely. Yes, what do you want? Some Very well, like but time ask. is short. I guess there's nothing to be gained here. Alright, so the question is, do we have what we need now to take care of the ghost? Not hard. Can we do it before it's daylight? You know, we're not even beyond the prologue of this game. You realize that? This is not even chapter one yet. Pretty sure that's right. I hope that's right. <laughs> yeah, prologue. <laughs> yeah, we're not even on chapter one. Okay. Do it. Do it. Now, now. Let's see if we can get a tear. Not quite sure. Not hard. What is that sound? That should, I don't mind. Oh, that's creepy. All right. What do you mean I can't help you? Well, maybe I have to use the, the person with the bottle. Speak, is that Usta Illendith? What do you mean I can't help you? I got the bottle right here! Okay, what am I missing? Do it. I have do to go now. talk to the innkeeper again. She seems to be waiting for her husband. Do you know who that might be? A fisherman named Donovan. A little thick in the skull, big hearted. He lost himself in a storm, so his body never turned up. He drowned. He probably had one too many tankards. What about his ship? Well, there's wrecks scattered across the bed of Meridol Dunn. Pieces of them wash up. If you knew the name of the ship, mayhap a piece turned up somewhere? <laughs> Know the name of the ship. Gohar, the barkeep down at the Salty Dog. Oh, no. oh boy, I gotta go all the way back to the Salty Dog. Should've known there was more to a quest. Well, at least it's not that far. It's like somebody's stomach growling or something. Ah, uh, Infinity Engine. Oh, cool. I don't have to wait for them all to cluster. That's nice. 
All right, which one of these is the salty dog? It's less fun than killing. Hundreds of hours of gameplay excitement. Let's see if I can do it again. Just instantly go inside. Nope. <laughs> you know, you think it wouldn't have been that hard to say, look, you got everybody selected in the party. You clicked on the doorway. Maybe the idea is that everybody wants to go inside. So you just jump to that. Yes, Jabuk. Ah, they'll enjoy seeing Something you everybody walk across the entire map <laughs> and then get Snaggled up in the doorway. Okay. Donovan. How do you know he's dead? Found his skiff? You have a piece of his boat? How convenient. I appreciate it. Thanks. Party has gained an item. Okay. <laughs> now back to the... Oh, I need to get that flask. You almost forgot. Punch oh, we could try to win the wolf charm, too. I'll play. Here's five golds for the first round. So I'm pretty sure you want strong constitution for a drinking contest. He's got a 20. He should be able to do it. Plus, he's a dwarf. He's ready to drink. Here's five gold for the first round. I'm not going to wager my time on erasing a dwarf. Oh, I won't. Oh, no. Oh, Quick. crap. <laughs> well, let's see. Who else has a high con? That's pretty funny, though, that they would think of that. <laughs> They're not going to play a dwarf. Well, these guys have 18. That's still I really good. I time to I gotcha. It's probably appropriate that Matt the Rat Slayer does it. Ah, here's my wine skin. Trying to throw it up. <laughs> so you can hold your break after all. Let's talk more and drink. I'm surprised you've lasted so long. Okay. You know, what is so heroic about a drinking contest? You ever watch, uh, of course you have, seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> Just watched that recently. And, you know, they had that drinking contest and I always wondered if that was where a lot of these games get their inspiration for the sequence. <sighs> what a mess you've made. Okay. All right. What is that good for? I wonder. Looks cool. Howling wolf charm. Uh, just summon wolf three times, I guess. Well, I guess in a pinch. Do it. Do it now. Probably can't afford the yeah, flask now. Who was it that needed the... F some guy in the... Somebody needed that. Uh, don't quite have enough gold. What the hell? Gold? Oh. Well, the, what the, huh? <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened there. That was weird. But now I can buy the flask. Okay. I hear you. So now, we need. Is there anything else we need to do here? God, is there something else? No, oh, there's probably some other Something. quest. Seemed like there was somebody else there saying, like, come back after the goblins are gone. 
I don't know. I don't know if I want to be a completist here. Matter of fact, I probably don't want to play <laughs> that much longer. Let's uh, let's wrap this up and get out of the town. That'd probably be a good stopping point. Man, this game is so addictive. It's just unreal. You just don't even. You lose all conception of time. Okay. Here, let's go here first. I don't remember this game being this good. I mean, I remember enjoying it, but I mean, it's just, you know, there's so few good games these days. Okay, which one was it? They wanted the. I'll do it now. One of these guys wanted that. Yeah, here's the break. Drink it all down. You know, you are right. I spent the last few days having visions of Targos and flames. Last thing I remember was preparing myself to divine the location of the encampment. You know, the encampment is someone or something is watching over it. Hmm. You no, know, I think the fortress will seek you out. I see a woman. She will show you the way, but her face is clouded. A friend or lover, perhaps. I saw you traveling upon a ship that flew upon the winds. Make sure you're well equipped for this journey. <laughs> Oh, we're going to be flying with Oswald. Okay, so there's that. Speak. Punch whom? I didn't say I got XP. I did it. Journal's updated. I think we're getting XP for doing this stuff. Okay, one more trip back to the lady. No, I think I'll fall. Let's see, we fought goblins. We fought some. We fought a werewolf. We fought a wizard. Not hard. You know what we haven't fought? <laughs> yes, you know. Not hard. Not very disciplined. May I help? I can do it. Too. Okay. All right, gave her the piece of the airship. Wait, no, just a regular ship. <laughs> okay, you brought the piece of ship. Rest now, Vera. First, a debt must be settled. As you return my husband to me, I'll return a boon in kind. For my lips a warning. The sign of the Chimera comes to Targos. If you fell in your quest, many shall perish. For my sake, protect Targos. <laughs> Perhaps you could help me now. I'll shed one last tear. Uh, please, thank you. Gained an item of some sort. It is done. We shall meet again in the kingdom far from the sweat. Ooh, Vera's bottle. What do we need that for? Can we use that? I don't know why we needed that, but we do got it. it. Do it now. Easier. Now get another reward. If he would get out of the way. All right. Party has gained experience. <laughs> Very well then, all my purse can afford. We might as well rest while we're here. Okay. I can do it. Okay, so we should. Oh, they didn't give us much gold. That stinks. 
Okay, so I think we're ready to go to the... That's probably a good spot to save it again. Let's see. Put Weeping Widow to rest. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save this and return momentarily. I think one more reel should do it. Not sure how many, what time, how long I've been doing this. <laughs> ah, okay, back. Oh. All right. I think about all we've got left to do is to get out of here. Perhaps a Lothara could make some use of it. Oh, I gotta go back to her again. It's less fun than killing. All right, all right. I just wish you'd give me some gold. <laughs> you seen the stuff they have for sale at these shops? I mean, thousands of gold. It's funny how you you play something like this, you know, it's been like 10 years ago, and just certain little things sort of trigger memories, like this, I remember this very well, this this house here, and the wife over on this side, <laughs> like the doors that keep locking and shutting. Able to help Valon, he's cured and regained consciousness, oh, I got experience points from that. To such a barrier. See, this is back before the journals would say you need to go here and do this and come back and do that. There's like a big golden question mark above their head. <laughs> no, you had to use Game Banshee. Or get one of those books, The Guide to Baldur's or Icewind Dell 2. Is that Prima Guide? Something like that. Still got some of those. <laughs> I might actually have it for this game. <laughs> I should go look and see if I still have that. That'd be helpful. So I had the Valadis as well. Okay. Got the spirit. Can be made of it. Maybe five. I can offer you 500 gold for it. Or I may use it to enchant a small blade for you. A dagger, perhaps. Oh. Uh, I have to pick. I could cheat and look it up. <laughs> could ask for more. Uh, I guess I'll take the dagger. Oh, but it's not some crappy dagger. Maybe a magic we may purchase. Um, da -da. Oh, where'd I get these gems from? Where did this stuff... What is with this, this random stuff that keeps showing up in my inventory? All right, what is this? Sorrow's Tear. Or is it Tear? Sorrow's Tear has got to be. This is 1d4 plus 1 or plus 2 versus Spectral Undead. So it's versus... <laughs> Look how granular they get. Oh, I'm, not, I'm a zombie. Doesn't work on me. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not even sure what is considered Spectral Undead. Spectres, uh, obviously, but what else? Ghouls? Anyway, it's probably better for my rogue than the masterwork dagger. Oh, she can't use it though for some reason. Usable by. Are you? Oh, that was terrible. I should have taken the gold. Oh, well, these mages are never going to be in a position to need that. No, oh, it's got a five percent chance for an additional one point of magic damage when target is hit. Nobody's going to use it, though. Oh. Ugh. Crap. Oh. Yes. I could reload, it but I'm not done. going to. Wait a minute. Yeah. 
Let's see, I need to buy some spells for her. She needs... Um, <laughs> she's got minor mirror image already. Blur. Why some of these are way too advanced. Doesn't need mage armor. Transmutation. Charm person might be fun. Color spray, eagle splendor, grease. Identify. Yeah, that would probably be nice to have. 100 gold. Mm -hmm. yeah, you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, I finally got this gold. I just want to hold it forever. I think all this is lovely. Sleep. Yeah, that's enchantment. That might be, might come in handy. I don't want to spend a hundred gold on it, though. Yeah, just get this spell for now. Remember to save it because sometimes this doesn't work. Nothing will make you matter than paying a lot of money than not being able to learn it. Okay, that worked. Good. Now let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, I can't use it. I gotta go rest again. <laughs> you know the you know the drill. I guess I could lose one of those and get identify. Okay, so. Was there a follow up to any of that or am I good to go? Please tell us to time. This the ghost touch. Well, I think we're good. Alright, let's get out of here. There's probably a couple more things we could do, but we actually saw a mod that would just let you skip this entire prologue. I mean, what's the point of that? It's not that bad. Okay. I guess if it's like the third or fourth time you played it, maybe. I mean, why not just skip the entire game? Is it got ominous? I'll do it now. Loot everything, then talk to you. Oh, a little kid over there. Surely. Swift Thomas, you're one of those mercenaries. Town, no thanks. Know where I can find the commander? This is in the building. I hear you. I'll do it now. Uh huh. Not hard. Wish the music would have kept playing. What? Is that Usta Elindith? Kind of love how she's not even. She's only got that one level of rogue, and that's going to be enough to pick. Speak. <laughs> to pick everything I need to pick. Lord Obert told us to report to you, Shawford Crail. Pays one gold a ten day, pay below the month in advance, which was authorized with an additional sum. Visit the Galloway Trading Depot. If you're wounded, report here. You do not have lodgings. You can make your own arrangements. Palace say there's a breach. You need wood. Seek Olap and find out what he needs. You should be able to find him at the Northeast Palisade. Right. Yes, sir! 
Look, mercenary, if you have any goblin wounds, you need me to tend fine, but I'm in no mood for any more cases of frostbite. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Nolan. Anything we need to talk to him about? So you're a priest. Do you have some sort of problem with nature worshippers? I wouldn't mind having a few more on our side. Magic. That little entangling enchantment makes goblins quite easy picking for archers. Alright, so they're giving me a few little tips. I can use some healing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's got items, right? Oh, maybe not. I thought there was a, one of these options that had something to do about items. Okay, let's go. I want to get into like one big battle before we call it quits. Surely there's some trouble we can get into. I guess they're training. Northeast Palisade. Eh. That looks like Minsk. Tabard Mooncalf, yeah. What are you staring at? Beautiful shield. Apparently he's guarding the stuff. It looks like you're on shake. Place beside the fire. You got, got you on a short leash. <laughs> Fetching carry for <laughs> this is kind of fun. <laughs> They feel sorry for me having to do all these silly quests. Kill all the- Oh! You know those warehouses down by the docks? My very first day, the guard asked me to go in and kill all the rats inside. And to protect targets, they said. Ah. That's nothing. At least you didn't have to wear your boot soles down to nothing, running around finding and delivering every healing potion in town. <laughs> That's hilarious. At least you didn't have to go after a rabid wolf in the Scramshander shop. <laughs> you know, if you, a lot of this stuff is referencing the first game, obviously. It's funny. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Do all these fresh and carry assignments end after a while? Well, <laughs> Oh, but they help you build character. I know I've made out like a bandit when I was clearing out those rats. I made five gold! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Just keep your eyes open. One last thing, if they send you any stupid missions to the docks, see if you can find that runner Swift Thomas. Save you some time. Well, that's interesting, so you get the kid to do these quests for you. Well, that is interesting. Alright, who's this guy I'm supposed to talk to? I thought he was on the north. Is it northeast? And there's the palisade. Hmm. Is that the guy? Cadence. He doesn't sound like the right guy. <laughs> Can I try? What am I trying to do? What do you say? Four gold if you knock it from the wall. Twenty gold, it sounds. <laughs> Fifty! 
How about that longbow you carry? Yeah, I don't really need a longbow. Yeah, try the 20 gold. Stand back. Speak. I don't know what I do. Fire. And may the Yoklol caress you in Six the Six person? Is that all there is to it? Okay, why is it There we go. He knocked the barrel off. Easy 20 gold. Gable. Oh, which one's Gable? Give me my money. I don't really have that much. <laughs> Where I come from, we kill men who bet without gold. Yeah. That longbow. He's giving me to my... <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take his longbow. I mean, she probably would. She is a drow. Pass it to me. Here you are, take it then. <laughs> we still have your health. <laughs> so there, piss you lick. Oh, it's just a regular old longbow. Oh well. Now, where is this palisade guy? Was it northwest? Is that northeast? That looks right. At your service. Okay. Old oh, tame water. He did. I have my own command now. Well, then you put your sword and weapons away. This section of the wall here, I can't pass it with air. <laughs> really? I'm beginning to see why they made you the engineer. <laughs> what do you need to fix it? Oh, I already have the wood to fix it in town. What I need is the way to get it here. Limba Grunwa is being difficult. I already spoke to him. He says the crane is broken. Damnable human spy clang in its fist. Some of them have heads as thick as dwarves. <laughs> broken crane, eh? Damn flywheels from me. Okay, well, an engineer may be a carpenter or not. Go seek out me da, Jorin at the docks, and see if you he can help that wailing babe Grunwall repair the crane. Would you rather have a runner go get him? <laughs> oh, I and I'll make sure he brings you a flask of brandy. <laughs> now get going. Okay, well, maybe we can uh, get the kid to do it for us. I think that's worth look an option. I'll do it now. Or uh, worth looking into. Let's see. Where was that kid? I hope this actually works. That'd be cool. No option. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, you must have to have the high enough charisma. Oh, look, he'll take you places. Neat. Let's so go to the darks. Oh, <laughs> check that out. Boom. I hear you. That's awesome. It's less fun than killing. Ah. Oh. That's a good reason to have at least one character with charisma. Oh. No, always use the high charisma. Here. Surely. Can you fix it? How? Let me take this crane wheel, set it in the crane. Speak. Excellent. <laughs> Back to the kid. <laughs> Oh, and he'll even do this for free. Oh, this is so nice. This is so good. Okay, good. This is good town. Oh. That's... I'm glad they put that in. That was a good idea. Good idea. 
You know, and it makes sense in the storyline, too. It wasn't just a random teleport type of deal. Okay, quick, 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 quickly. Oh. I will assist you with bloodly. One I wouldn't give, though, just to have it automatically go to the right person. Okay, is that it? Oh, not hard. Are we good to go here? Oh, I gotta do it myself. Place it on the crane wheel. Do you have to have a special yes, skill? I can do it. Do it. What do it now. Gladly. <laughs> okay, so we finally good with the skin. I can do it. Take care. Easy as something. Alright, so maybe now we're ready. Is it worth finding the kid again, or should we just go on? Who's this guy? Oh, uh, what's his face? Air Oswald? Okay, I think we're about getting to the end of this prologue. It's less fun than killing. You know, I'm thinking I should make another video on this game, though, because it doesn't really start to get good until after the prologue. <laughs> Not to say I've been having a good time, but you know what I mean. There's a reason they call it a prologue. It's a long prologue. What did this all fog out again, I wonder. Where's the guy? Oh, maybe I don't have to go talk to him? I am really confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing now. I'm supposed to me nod. Use for. Ah. Can't charge, catch charging people. Oh, but, uh, okay, maybe I missed something. I hear you. I thought we had to fix the. Cargo shall not fall. Should probably read my journal again. Could be that maybe I'm supposed to go talk to Lord Ulbrich. Just can always check. Heavy crossbow. Some more bolts, those are always useful. Yeah, I don't see that dwarf or gnome or whatever it was. Something you need I don't mind. Cattle told. Need any help? Get back to you, Tamer. I don't want a hammer. All right. Dandable nails. <laughs> this must be an inside joke. <laughs> Someone's obviously married. Thanks, <laughs> Jill. Here's your hammer back. God, I need to drink. So I guess we are only able to do this because we happen to have a war hammer? That's cool. Man, there's, a, there's so much little character. 
So much character in this. Oh, wait, what's... I just wish I knew where to go. Well, maybe I need to go back in here now. Punch boom. May I help? I don't mind. You settle the matter of the wood shortage. Another matter is cropped up I need your assistance with. And the heroes and needs and travel to the Galloway D. <laughs> yeah, now I'm starting to see why people want to skip this whole <laughs> prologue. Ah, it's just, yeah, they're not kidding around. Just a bunch of uh, fetch quests. Yes, you would. Why would they do this, I wonder? Okay. Well, not hard. Ain't that desperate to pad this game out? Surely not. See the captain of the archers on the western wall. Now, arrows. Not hard. Now, let's. There's a drill sergeant. Now, where is this archer guy? There he is. That was easy, at least. Tell me, I best, sir. I don't mind. <clears throat> How many arrows do you need? We need 15 score. 300 arrows? Let's see what can be done. Okay, back to the kid. <laughs> oh lord, can you believe this? I hope there's not like three or four of these. I guess I'm getting XP for it. Alright, I think. Yeah, you know, that's the. Do it we don't need to go there, we need to go here. Yeah, I was looking at that mod to skip the prologue and thinking, why would yes, anybody <laughs> surely why would you need that? Is it really that terrible to go through this tutorial? It's not that bad. And even in my tabletop group we have plenty of sessions where it's just like a trip to town. Do housekeeping basically. Targus is doomed! How dare you put your business before the welfare of Targos? <laughs> so, a little bit of a message here, a morality play, is it? Ah! Well, I'll do more than play Buccaneer in your store. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps Targos could pay you for these arrows. What, with another scrap of debt paper? We could pay you with our own coin. Yeah, right. You don't make preparations, I'll tear down this door and take what I need. Don't twist the issue. Targus has been bleeding me dry. You'll lose your life. Very well, I'll see if the arrows are delivered to the palisade at once. <laughs> Before I go, can I see what else you have in stock? <laughs> hey, do we have enough for the get the chain mail now? Yeah, I keep getting this gold, but it's not going into my inventory. What is this? Yeah, I could probably sell some of I'd probably sell that heavy crossbow, I'll tell you the truth. Probably not gonna use that. Well, oh, let's go ahead and do that. Battle axe. <laughs> I, still, I still got that stupid dead cat. I told you I'd have that sucker till the end of the game, not knowing what to do with it. I could sell that Sorrows Teeter. Okay, 800. Oh, I get this left hand of darkness now if I wanted it. Plus one damage. Plus one. Uh, 255 gold. 
Hmm. Memories of cold hire. That's fun. What is, what is this? It's a mace. <sighs> a cleric would probably like to have that. It's not that expensive either. Black chimes. Let's just get the... Uh, let's get the best armor we can. So we got half plate armor here, 612 gold. It's a plus seven. We get splint mail for 200 gold. Well, that's, that's a lot of money. What's with the difference there? This is a plus seven, zero dex bonus. This is a six, zero. So both of them you get zero dex bonus. Uh, let's see, what about chain mail? Chain melt armor. You get a plus two dex bonus. Let's see what our dex bonus is. Okay. So he's got a three dex bonus. So we'd be yeah losing some of that. May not even be worth having the chain mail. I'll tell you what we're gonna do here. Let's go ahead and quick save it. Buy it and then see. If it's actually worth it. Alright. Okay, where was it? There we go. So it's 612 golds, best of that. Let's see if this actually helps. So he's got AC 16 right now. So he get one more point of AC is all. I don't think that's worth that. Not with my limited amount of money. Well, I think I could spend that money on something better. No trouble at all. So what else do they have? The chain mail. The leather armor. Studded leather armor. Let's see. That's a plus three with a up to five dex bonus, and I got a three dex bonus. So if I get the chain metal, that's a plus five, and I'd still get plus two, so basically a maximum seven. So seven that way, or eight this way. Wow, so the studded leather armor is actually better than the chain mail. If I'm looking at that right, so don't want to do that. <laughs> So what else might I want to spend my money on? Heart of Radazar Ratscallion. What? Was that something else a while ago? Oh, this must be some kind of little joke. <laughs> yeah, no idea how it came to bear your name. This is weird. Oh, so everybody that you talk to the... Oh, I see what they're doing there. Nine paces. And a polearm. Oh, there's a returning throwing warhammer. That would be quite nice. You know, I might go with this. You know, I might buy this mace. One d six plus one, attack bonus of plus one, enchantment plus one, and it gives you cold resistance, which is probably a pretty, pretty big deal. Uh, Five hundred ten gold. Let's go ahead. Let's just see what it does for yeah. us. I'm pretty sure that was money well spent. Not hard. It looks neat. <laughs> Easy as. Sound uh, unfortunately, I completely forgot what I was doing. Oh, we need to go back to. We got to go back to the arrow guy now, I suppose. Yeah, where's the kid? Where's the kid? Uh, lost track of the kid. 
makes sense right here anyway. <clears throat> Wake me up when we're done with the prologue. What's he sighing for? Alright. This building used to be your home. Really so they turned down the houses to make palisades, I suppose. And <laughs> mourn your loss. Farewell. You all have to make sacrifices at the time of war. All right, got your arrows. Surely. I could use 300 arrows. I don't even need those. Here, take these flasks instead. Okay, yes, that's really useful. I don't already have so many out anymore. <laughs> Running out of room to put them. Okay, what now? Surely that is all we can get on with the game. Surely that's the last fetch quest. Running out of NPCs. Yes, okay. Excellent. Carried out his orders. Priest of Merkel within these walls. and Norbrick has charged him with speaking to one of the goblins that fell during the last attack. I doubt if we can learn how many were in the wilderness. But then uh, even need to speak to Colum and see what he has gleaned from the goblin. We're <laughs> not done yet. Uh, one of the abandoned buildings in the main town, just north of Weeping Willow. We haven't talked to him already. Uh, easy as something. Not hard. Good lord, this is a long prologue. Pay attention where this kid is this time, at least. Okay, so he's right there. Don't want to lose him again. I'll do it now. Oh boy, I thought I would get done with this prologue before I called it a video. This is a long prologue. I bet you they probably mentioned this in some of the reviews, don't you? <laughs> long prologue. Oh, I'll bet that's the one. It wouldn't let me in there before if I recall correctly. Yeah, there's several of these. I guess yeah, must be that one. Got to be this one. Yep. I wonder why it keeps making that sound. Not hard. What should I do? Whoosh. No trouble at all. You know, it seems like when I played this back in the day, it would take at least 30 to seconds to a minute to load each one of these little rooms. I could be misremembering that. Uh, what? Your spirits echo still. Oh, Lord Skull. The Lord of the Dead. Merkel. What happened to these people? Uh, death. The has Strange voice. Your battles are now over, soldier of Targos. That corpse just... Silent spirit. <clears throat> Let's be talking to the dead. They rattle on like children. And this goblin here, it still lives out its last moments. Why are these bodies here? One hand can speak to the dead has value on the field of battle. This goblin here is Ulbricht's wish that I speak to him and learn what secrets he holds, but that is not all. The dead are in need of proper burial. Priests of Tempest have no skill. Ah. I travel where death does. I shadow my lord's footsteps. 
Very Planescape Tormenty. <laughs> I came with brothers, the Iron Carla mercenaries. In these days, all targets will serve Merkel. Or will worship Merkel, 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 Steve Merkel. You include us as being Merkel. Perhaps not. Whoa. <laughs> oh. oh, a lot of options. Hey, what have you learned? Precious little, yes. The goblin tongue was not familiar to me. I know a little goblin. Valsak death. Which can, we shall storm the walls, put your town to the sword, etc. Kabbalas, he's saying something about a goblin shaman named Kabbalas. Not exactly sure. Something about goblin sorcerer. Other than goblins, tech, crap. Okay. What are these bodies? Why is this town person here? <laughs> you peace? Uh, but your mind is sharp. And, uh, the fireplace is set in a narrow crack in the walls where his gold lies sleeping. Take it, it is yours. Alright, well, I could follow up Easy. on that, but. Something. I am anxious to get this part done. Let's see. Okay. Back now to what's his face? <laughs> oh no, did I lose the kid? Yeah. Thousands of hours of gameplay. <laughs> I need a mount. I mean, careful converting spells as a cleric. I don't know you could do that in this game. It's less fun than. Kill. So there's really never a reason to learn cure light wounds. I guess right because you just uh, convert a spell. Of course. I spoke to him. Yes, I've met them. I want you to bring the Iron Collar Mercenary Band here to the Palisade. You failed to show up, nothing else. It'd be my pleasure. <laughs> Where can I find them? Oh, Lord. This is getting a, out of control. I hunt whom? Uh, it's less fun than killing. Ducks. I'm going to try to get through this. <laughs> I was not expecting this much. Where's a stupid salty dog? It's less fun than killing. I wonder if that's the house where the gold's supposed to be. I'm suspicious because the door was closed. Oh no, it's just crazy cat lady. Not hard. Easy as behind the something. fireplace, behind one of these, there's rumored to be some gold. Ah. I want it that badly, I'll just. Alright, this ought to be fun. Oh no, no, no. Get something you need, of course. This guy to talk to him. Report to the palisade at once. We're not done with our drinks yet. That's my room first. <laughs> You'd best leave before we throw you out of here. You're welcome to try. If you need to get some more men first, I'll understand. <laughs> Cigar lunch is there. Yeah, we could use this. A traitor Fane. Fane conspired to teleport a squad of goblins with the walls. But Fane hired us. He wasn't one of us. We might know her to We barely knew that stupid wizard. Shut up, Kickshaw. 
He's talking nonsense. I doubt Ulrich will see it that way. That kick shot is right there, and Collar Band isn't a band of traitors. So there they go. Speak. Punch whom? Well, surely, <laughs> surely, surely, that's all we have to do. To find the house that has the the gold behind the fireplace. But, yeah. Probably wouldn't. I don't want to look at every house. All right, go 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 go. Where are we going? I'm back to. Back to Crail, I think's his name. Wait, that's not right. Do it. Do it now. There's a fireplace. Have I been in this building? Oh, this is where I killed the fight. Punch boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Let's gather your party before venturing forth. Fifty hours later. Okay, we will get done with this prologue. That's my new mission, man. We're not quitting this video until that prologue is done. You surprised me. Did you hear that? Oh, maybe we're done. <laughs> you thought he was a kid, but he was a muffin. Sir, the goblins are at the palace. What are the gates to town? Sound the alarm. Yes, sir. I must warn Ulbrick and the guys of the town forces. I need you to report to the Palisade and drive those damned Galvas back. Tempest grants us victory to meet me here after the battle. Everyone, two arms, two arms. Here we go now. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> okay, I'm going to once again make one last reel. And then we should be good to go. Alright. Loader up. I'm gonna fight these goblins. <laughs> There's a lot of goblins. Give me a lot of goblins. Quickly would probably do it. If the battle proves too difficult, simply reload. Oh, as something. Get out there and fight some goblins! Oh, easy as Exciting music. Oh, there's some goblins. There's a wolf. Oh, he didn't last long. Come on, kill him. You know, he's, let's try out the rage. Rah! He's got a bless to put on people. Yeah. What? Any spells we might want to use? Nah. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't quite get everybody with my blast. All right. Somebody got hit. <laughs> An injured keg over here. Ooh, there's one on a, a wolf? Nogaton. Oh, maybe he's a baddie. Hit him with some missiles. Ah, so much for Vogatan. Woo, we have some good fucking stuff. Do not save. Goblins everywhere. You know, they like to sneak up behind your mages in a situation like this. I haven't done it yet. Ooh, something's happening. Who's that? Oh, that's supposed to be the shaman they were talking about. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, that's going to be a fun fight. Get over there. Oh, I still can't save it. No! There we go. It did let me save it. I hope it lets me pick up all this loot after the battle. You know, that's my main main concern. <laughs> oh, I didn't... My bless is already expired. Yeah, that doesn't last long. Look, my rage is expired, too. This guy's participating. No. Do it. Do it now. Yeah, it was worth getting through all that just to get to this battle. <laughs> Always the same. Same little jerk. Yeah, I hope that I can come back and loot off this stuff. I'll just quickly see if I. Oh, Houndstooth Collar. Where immune to panic and fear can cast the spell Beast Claw. What is Beast Claw? Immune to panic and fear can cast Beast Claw once per day. I'm not actually sure what that, the heck Beast Claw does. Guess we could find out. I like the stuff that lets you use it once per day because you don't have to worry so much about saving it for that critical moment. Try it out in this next battle here. There we go. Let's go ahead and try it out. I am ready. Then Tempest of Strength. I didn't even know I had that stuff. What is your Are you here? Uh, maybe I can't use it right away. Spell power. I don't see a way to cast it though. Quickly. Yeah, it's usually that button, isn't it? Use item, click item. Weird. Uh, surely you don't use it like that. I don't know. Go ahead and bless everybody again. Oh, I don't want my guys in the front row. That's not a good place for mages to be. Ooh, this guy's cast this. 
Why are these guys all lying down? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I'm really wounded. Microchromatic orb? Cause these guys to fall down? She needs to get out of here. A little bit less than impressive. Alright. Whew. This is tough. So much stuff. <laughs> Hello? Oh, he did say if the battle's done, go back and meet him at the... Is that him? Mask like Jeffrey. We'll see. I'm not sure. Who's this? Answer. I was thinking that guy that looked kind of like Minsk who was staring at the shields. I wonder if we can go pick up the shield now. <laughs> was it over here? Where was that? Yeah, I think that was it. Tabard shield. Looks like a pretty good shield. Yeah, I guess it's no better than what I had. What's it do for you? Surprisingly light and easy to hold. Never seen that. Also, is it plus two armor check penalty minus two? Plus one versus missile weapons. Yeah, I guess it's got that little missile weapon bonus on it. Oh, a little bit better than what I had, I suppose. Niles. <laughs> I'll hold I'd hold off on the ale until we're sure the region is secure. Okay. Well, is there? Oh, there he is. What should I do? Have I you fought them all? Goblins have been driven back. You've done well. If you haven't already, you should report to Lord Ulbrick. I'm sure you want to congratulate you. Uh, Came for a payment. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, sometimes you get more of a reward Do if you don't Do ask now. for one. Do it. Do it now. We're so impressed with you that you didn't ask for a reward that we will give you double. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not hard. All right, let's get this thing done, turned in, and call it a day. You know, I probably will. I'm kind of tempted to make another video on the chapter one. <laughs> like, why not? It's such a good game. Even with the sort of drudgy little fetch quests and all, I mean, it's still so much fun. At your service, of course. It's kind of fun to complain about stuff like that. I have heard of you your know. brave deeds in Targos' defense. You have <clears> served Targos with distinction and valor. 
and you have my gratitude. I fear we have been granted only a temporary reprieve, however. We still don't know what is driving this horde to attack Targos' walls. Oswald Fiddlebender, our aerial scout, has been scouting the region in his airship, and he has discovered some unsettling news about the horde. It seems the goblins that attacked Targos were only the advance raiding party of a much larger force. Their main force has taken Shangarn Bridge, which is ill news. Shangarn Bridge? Let me see your map. I will mark its location for you. Here is Targos, and Shangarn Bridge is just to the south. The Neverwinter troops plan to use this bridge to cross the river, but as long as the goblins hold it, the reinforcements from Neverwinter cannot cross the river to aid us. I need you to find some way to retake the bridge from the goblinoids. Without Cabinoids. the reinforcements from Neverwinter, Targos will be overrun. Cabinoids. Oswald has reported that the trail to Shangarn is choked with goblin troops. His suggestion, and I agree, is that a small party might be able to make its way up the frozen river to the bridge and take the enemy <laughs> forces by surprise. I have a better suggestion. Why don't we load Oswald's airship with potions of explosions and land it on the bridge? I have to thank Oswald for his... Very well, we should head to the bridge. Boom! Level up! Now wait a minute though, I haven't seen a thing yet that said we're officially in chapter one. I hear you. Alright, might have to play a few more minutes. I'm not going anywhere until that thing says level one. <laughs> now what is this guy supposed to be learning? I don't even can't do concentration. Just intimidate. Oh, it gets another feat. I think it was what? extra rage. What should I get for his feet? It's the big advantage of humans. But the dwarves don't get as many, I don't think. So you really want to be careful. Let's see. Where is it? Where? Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Dwarf. Okay. Okay, he's level cleave, yes. Cleave. And simple weapon mace. Oh, I think there's something about you have to have two weapons mastered to be able to uh, get another feat somewhere down the line, and he likes maces because you, again, there's creatures later on that are only, or they take very little damage from anything that's, except for bludgeoning, so it's good to have a strong backup weapon. Speak. Okay, let's Punch get this. Boom. Hopefully we'll see that screen in a second that says we're Travel to Shangri Bridge. Wants us to travel. Okay, how do we how do we go? <laughs> Shangri Ford? Okay, can't, no. How, how do we get to the bridge? Okay. To the south. Travel to Shangri Bridge. How do we get to this? It says go to the south. But the way out is up here. Let's go up here. Oh, maybe I have to go on the airship. You know, I didn't see the loot either. Ah, welcome back. Something like ship. Oh, you mean you mean uh, my most ships ship. travel upon the? Indeed, it does. Uh. I still have to loot all those corpses. <laughs> so, kind of stuck on that idea, but 
I don't want to spend an hour going around picking up stuff. Not hard. Can't resist urge. I'll just get the gold. Bound to be at least a couple of magic items here. Arrow's probably good to grab too. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Just can't help myself. I mean, it's it's taking a lot of resistance for me not to also pick up all the items and go and sell those. Good all this. Yeah, you know, it is a shame there's not just a quick way to do this. And maybe there is. Hunt who? I bet you there's a mod for it. In the enhanced editions, I think they have this thing. It's like quick loot. There's a gem on that. I don't even know why I'm bot. Oh, look at all this. Oh, now I'm glad I did that. That was a stash. Okay, there's probably more stuff, but in the interest of time, Whispering Staff. Plus one to move silently skill. 1% chance target of silence when struck. What? Chance target silence when struck. Oh. That would be pretty good for. Probably pretty good for her to have this. And you got a small shield of fortitude. Gives you some hit points. <laughs> you got like the only guy with the shield, you know, it's just. Yes, Jabuk. What else was that? Didn't they get a couple of scrolls? Sure, saved it. Always save before you try to get a spell. We've been lucky so far, but believe me, it's less fun than sometimes it will say nope. It'll take us to the ducks. No. All right. Let's see if we can go on to the bridge. And then... I think... We'll be done. There we go! I want to stop it here, actually. You want to take river from Torak? Ha! Huh? Shangon belong to Broken Tusk Clan now. You leave here or you die. All right, folks. I'm done. Like I said, I'm going to stop it here. I mean, I could easily just keep keep on playing through Chapter 1, Chapter 2, but... <laughs> you know, you've seen more than enough, I think, to make a decision about whether it's a game that you think would be worth your time. Uh... You know, it's kind of coming back to me now that uh, there were some complaints about the prologue, you know, taking a little, starts to kind of drag, you know, with a fetch quest there. And there is that mod you can download and install, I suppose, if you just want to skip it all. Now, I didn't think it was that bad. Now, if I had a, if this was like my third or fourth time through the game, <laughs> it might feel differently. It might just want to start off, you know, straight at chapter one. Uh, but all that aside, putting a, all that aside, you know, this is one of the great classics uh, of the era, one of the best uh, Infinity Engine games. I mean, there's not that many <laughs> to choose from. Uh, I, I like it better in a lot of ways than the first Icewind Dale, just because you have more bells and whistles, and uh, the third edition gives you a lot more, uh, in, in my opinion anyway, more interesting leveling mechanics to play with. I always loved the feats. 
Uh, it's fun. Uh, all the multi-classing possibilities are interesting. There's just a whole lot you could do with this. Uh, even if you've played it before, you know, you, it's, you can have such a very different party uh, for your subsequent playthroughs. It, a lot of it feels fresh. Uh, plus, I like all the little inside jokes and the themes and the mood and the music. You know, it's just totally... It just, I mean, this game scratches an itch <laughs> that you may not even have known that you had uh, until you really get in here. Uh, now, of course, it's not perfect. You know, there's all the Infinity Engine games that can be a little fussy. Uh, sometimes with the pathfinding, as you saw. Sometimes the battles can be a bit too chaotic. You know, there's certainly uh, something to be said for good old turn-based game is the reason why a lot of the more modern ones give you the option to have a you know either real time or uh, a turn based mode so i could definitely uh, am sympathetic to those but i mean if these are the games that really kind of cemented my love of the genre you know i started off with pool of radiance went on to baldur's gate uh played through the might and magic series and all this and uh, there's very few moments in these that i uh you know that would turn me off uh, of the, yeah, there could be some dull spans, but you know, there's generally some reason to keep playing all the way through to the end. I mean, I wanted to kind of stop it here just because I'm kind of right at that point. <laughs> it's truly hard not just to keep going, uh, you know, and seeing what chapter one is all about. Uh, you know, I'm even thinking about going back and <laughs> picking up the rest of that loot and stuff. <laughs> it's always a sign of a great game, you know, the kind that keeps you up all night, you know. it's early morning and still playing and still having a good time uh, anyway i don't really even feel like i need to rate this game it's one it's one of the great classics if you haven't ever played it <clears throat> you definitely should check this out uh and if it's been a long time you know several years you might want to go back and replay this or especially if you haven't played it since it came out you know i think it's aged pretty well it took me about i don't know if you uh, remember when i first started this video but i was kind of struggling a little bit with the interface moving the map around and such but you saw how quickly i was able to uh, slip back into the groove as it were and there may well be some mods out there that would you know expedite that but, but anyway i'm going to stop it here i hope you enjoyed this i definitely did and i will see you next time That's all for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Good old Icewind Dale 2. I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, it's just a great one. You know, I was uh, serious. You know, if you guys want me to continue, I'll do chapter one. You know, happy to continue on with the game. But, you know, if you've had enough, want me to go on and do something else. That, that's cool, too. But, uh, man, what, what a game. You know, I'd forgotten just how addictive that uh, this thing can be. Uh, as always, I want to thank you very, very, very much for your support of Matt Chat, keeping me on YouTube for an insanely, I think, over a decade now uh, of these shows. Um, you know, I like to go on to 500 and beyond. Of course, I can do that, uh, but only with your support, only if you guys are willing to continue uh, to support the show. Of course, uh, liking it, commenting on it, engaging on Discord, but... Most importantly, supporting it financially on the Patreon site. Uh, all you got to do is go to that link in the show uh, notes, the comments on the video. It takes a couple of minutes. Uh, and you can uh, you know, support the show at a buck a month is basically what I, what I asked for here. Of course, if you want to chip in more, hey, by all means. But, you know, whatever you're able to do to support the show, look, I appreciate it and thank you. You're part of the team. Plus, you get access to that awesome Discord chat with all the great news that people post there. <laughs> and speaking of which, what about that news from the Met Cave? I want to rush on to the L segment because, man, my throat is dry. It's been <laughs> quite, a, quite a video. <laughs> uh, but anyway, before we get to the L, we must do the news. Uh, first up, Tired Gaming Dad writes in about a game called Pentiment. Obsidian and Microsoft announced Pentiment arriving as a console exclusive, I believe uh, Xbox, unless I'm horribly mistaken, <laughs> given Microsoft's involvement. Let's just assume... Uh, this narrative RPG is set in 16th century Bavaria, 
and allows play players to experience a journey through the eyes of journeyman artist Andreas Mailer during a time of great social unrest. Josh Sawyer, uh, speaking of which, is the game director on this. It looks really neat, kind of inspired by those uh, illuminated manuscripts, woodcut prints. Uh, looks really cool. I just happen to have an Xbox One, so I might be checking this out. And let's see, uh, what's up next? Miko! Miko <clears throat> writes in about a game called Weird Song. What do you... That's W-Y-R-D song. What do you get when you combine Bioware, Bethesda, and Obsidian? This isn't a setup for a joke, but the quickest way to introduce you to something Wicked Games. New studio uh, with veterans of those various companies. And, then, and Weird Song, which was announced at this year's Gamescom, is an open-world AAA preternatural RPG that combines the occult with historical elements in a fictionalized Portugal setting. Developed on Unreal Engine 5 and immerses fans in dark historical fantasy. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and then Richard Simmons. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, Matt Chat's classy. We've got Richard Simmons on the Discord. Uh, anyway, big fan of Richard. Uh, writes in about a game called Brewmaster. Beer Brewing Simulator. <laughs> you think I'm making this up? <laughs> No, brew your perfect beer in this relaxing home brewing sim. You know that that's true. I you know brewed beer in real life, and I can tell you it is very relaxing. It's very fun. Uh, use a realistic chemistry simulation to brew hoppy IPAs to creamy stouts. Customize your brewing space. Create recipes. Label your beer. Unlike new equipment and enter competitions. Uh, so this sounds uh, comes out in uh, <coughs> September 29th. <laughs> Uh, so this might be a good way, you know, maybe you don't want to uh, invest in brewing, uh, or maybe you don't even drink beer, but you're kind of curious what it would be like. Well, here's your chance, you know, it looks like a pretty fun game, well designed, uh, but it does look relaxing. So. <laughs> you know, one thing about brewing beer in real life, it is messy. It's hard to do it without making a big old mess, you know, so you, so you, might, want, you might prefer to do it virtually. Uh, and then finally, we got a game called Colossal Cave Reimagined by Roberta Williams. Of course, you know who that is, uh, King's Quest. An exciting new action-adventure game from the founders of Sierra Online, Ken and Roberta. So let's see what they have here. <laughs> Phantasmagoria listed. <laughs> yeah, she did Phantasmagoria, but she did some other stuff you might uh, want to talk about instead of Phantasmagoria. Uh, you know, I don't think I've ever... Have I done Phantasmagoria on the show? I don't know if I've done a match yet. Maybe that should be an episode. That'd be that, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's see what else uh, we have here. Pays homage to the original text-based computer adventure game that inspired her to begin her own career. That, of course, is Colossal Cave, also known as Advent or Adventure. Two or three different names for it. It's kind of the original text adventure game by Will Crowther and Don Woods. And that'll be on the Nintendo Switch. All right, so now, <laughs> Ooh, what about that ale of the week? Oh. All right, New Belgian, Bel New Belgium, Surly Brewing Company, Dark Forest Barley Wine Sour Ale, aged in bourbon barrels. <laughs> How many boxes can this can this beer take? Let's see. With spruce tips. Let's try that again. Barley wine. I love barley. Wine. Sour L, I don't like Sour L. <laughs> okay, so there's one thing I don't like. <laughs> but it's in bourbon barrels, a plus, with spruce tips, which is a question mark. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect. It's really hard to read anything on this bottle. It's like a black label with dark purple print on it. Let's see if I can make this out. You know, my eyesight's not getting any, any better. Uh, as I age, let me tell you that. I mean, I could barely see out of this eye these days. It's just kind of a fuzzy, uh, fuzzy blur. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't know. I should probably go to the doctor. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see if I can make this sound. In collaboration with our friends at Surly Brewing, uh, Dark Forest is a unique brew barley wine ale blend, highlighting the strengths of both breweries. Okay, so they teamed up. That's nice. What else is bold and burly? Man, can you guys make the print on these things a little bit bigger? <laughs> it's like just impossible to make this out. 
Freshly emptied bourbon, uh, both were laid down in freshly emptied bourbon barrels in Colorado and Minnesota, then blended and finished on fresh spruce tips. Okay, now they sometimes they tell you the alcohol content. Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, there it is, 11.5%. So that's definitely on the strong side. So again, you <laughs> with that kind of alcohol, you want, you know, one bottle is plenty. All right, well, let's get it open and see what it's all about. We do have one of these fun uh, corks. So as always, I love these because I can try to hit you with a cork. You know, don't try this at home. All right, let's see if I can do it without. Okay, this one, I got a good feeling about this. I think I'll hit the target this time. <laughs> have I ever hit it? Oh, it's just ready to pop. Come on, pop. Oh, here it comes. Ah, <laughs> look at that. There it comes. Ah, like the anticipation of this, you know, it's, you know, it's like those canned biscuits, you know what I'm talking about? Just the, the rolls in the can, you start trying to open it and you never know when it's going to be a It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that went. Man, that thing come out of there quick, didn't it? Uh, well, already I could smell that sour element. You know, some people love that. It's like every new beer these days, like sour L, sour L. Like burned milk, burned milk. <laughs> it's not that bad. You know, it's kind of like the cilantro. <clears throat> some people say it tastes like uh, dishwater to them or soap. To me, it's heavenly. Maybe the sour L is kind of like that, too. All right, well, it smells okay. I mean, I smell the sour more than anything, but uh, uh, let's get into a glass and eventually into the horn. <laughs> I'm sopping wet from that bottle, man. What is up with that? Now, let's pour a little bit here in this, uh, this glass first just so we can get a look at the color. You know, the thing about a drinking horn is it's very... Hard to see through it. <coughs> so very nice color on this. A lot of bubbles. I love that. You know, I think a, I hate a beer that, you know, you get like a head, but it's there's no bubble action. Or, you know, <laughs> you get no head and the thing is flat. You know, that's probably the worst. Uh, but the best, I think, is when you get the head and lots of bubbles coming up. Little bubbles all over the place. It's pretty. <laughs> But it's also a sign that you're in for a good treat. You know, something a little lively on the tongue <clears throat> is always welcome. All right, let's get her into the proper drinking vessel. That should be enough, I think. You know, I feel like I should, you know, let that bottle, <laughs> towel off that bottle or something. What is up with that? <laughs> All right, let's see. What's this one called again? Dark Forest. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Ooh. Uh, yeah, that'll get your attention. Uh, grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit is juice is what comes to mind here. Well, that's the first, that's probably the most powerful note I'm getting. Very citrusy in the grapefruit with a little bit. <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if I can taste any spruce. <laughs> uh, those spruce tips on this. Uh, definitely a little bit sour. <clears throat> Not sour as in sour milk. I was just kidding about that. <laughs> uh, but kind of, uh, you know, again, grapefruit juice kind of does this justice, I think. Or maybe a champagne or maybe a wine. Let me try it again here. Yeah, I can definitely taste the spruce now. So you can imagine like some uh, grapefruit juice with kind of a pine or a, <clears throat> you know, a spruce if you're <laughs> like a Christmas tree. You know what I'm talking about, right? That, that scent. Uh, you know, if you could imagine tasting that. <laughs> uh, that's kind of <coughs> what we're up to here. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, this is kind of interesting. I'll just leave it at that. Let me give it one more taste here.
you know, it, it's not, you know, I'm just going to say I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, sooner or later, yeah, there has to be a, fl a, a flavor of beer that just doesn't click with you. Uh, I think Dark Forest might be the one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not awful, but, uh, <clears throat> all right, I'll try it one more time. Yeah, I just don't know who would want to drink this. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, <clears throat> I guess a wine or a champagne. Uh, it is kind of sour, very grapefruity. Not a whole lot else going on. I mean, barley wine, I don't taste any of those flavors that I would associate with a barley wine. Uh, <clears throat> it's just kind of overwhelmed, I think, with the... You know, let me try it out of the glass, just to be absolutely fair. Because sometimes it does change the, the flavor somehow, drinking it out of the horn. So we'll give it a the glass check. Now this might actually make a difference, because it does smell quite a bit better coming out of this glass. No idea why that, how that could be, but yeah, it smells a little better out of the glass. Let's taste it. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> yeah, you might like this. I wish you were here. I'd just give this to you. <laughs> you can have the rest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not liking this. Uh, you know, I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's probably, I'm not knocking the beer. It's just not. Uh, I'm sure it's made well with best intentions. <laughs> but not for me. So I'm going to give this one a pass. <clears throat> All right, let's wrap it up with a quote then. And I was looking for quotes by R.A. Salvatore, a great author. Uh, one of my favorites, you know, he wrote some great books about uh, Icewind Dale and then Drizzt uh, for, in the Forgotten Realms universe, but probably a lot of other stuff, but that's what I have read by him. And he's got a lot of great quotes, but I really like this one. It goes something like this. <coughs> no, I would not want to live in a world without dragons, as I would not want to live in a world without magic, for that is a world without mystery, and that is a world without faith. Ponder on that, and see you guys next time. here and it finishes here two men enter one man leaves